I like exited out of the app. You guys asked. Hmm. Can you see this? Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. I'll oh, stop for my tea. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Damn, nice. All right. Wow, this is this feels really nostalgic. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, <laughs> yay! Oh yeah. Hi guys. Let me get I my boba. You. Is this my boba? I see you. Red one, yeah. All right. Are you the one that's taking it like a champ? No lactate? Well, I got, so they only use real milk, milk for like the fresh milk boba, mm -hmm. but otherwise I think they just use non-dairy creamer. Oh, yay. So I, so I asked Celine to ask Arya if Arya had any, <laughs> if Arya had any lactate pills, right? Because I'm lactose intolerant and we were getting boba. And Arya's like, she's like, I'm lactose intolerant, but I just take it like a champ. <laughs> it's good for, it's good to like, to like, um. Loosen your stool. <laughs> yeah. Arya! Natural! Oh, natural! <laughs> oh medicine. my gosh. When you have milk. Oh. You know, our group has a lot of alpha girls. Twoo, twoo. This hecka cute. You should do like an apartment oh, tour. Oh, I think I already yeah. did one before. Yeah, oh, yeah really? I did. <laughs> yeah, so people on my chat, so. This is so cute! Oh shoot, so but the only thing Vega. is that we can't see chat. <laughs> oh wait, we didn't think of this other time. Oh well, they don't matter. Uh, I'm just kidding, I didn't mean it. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, I technically me... could put your stream on TV. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's and then up... we can put chat on TV. Could we do oh, the oh, chat yeah. only? We can put chat yeah, on TV. I think so. Or more like, you could just do... Ch we could see chat big enough. Okay, let's see. I hope. Wait, is there a chat? Actually, I don't know. My... Maybe not. Oh no, that this app doesn't show if it's chat. Really? Mm. Not even in the options? Mm -mm. The only way is if we um, hook it up to the TV, or hook the computer up to the TV, and then we just HDMI it. But that's only if you have an HDMI cable. I do, but I'm yeah. <coughs> Or we could just like bring a laptop. Two, oh, yeah. two. You have an SD. You have like a. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. Hook up chat real fast to the power source so you guys don't die on us. Alright, it won't hurt. This will just ding a little bit. Oh god. Monka S. Alright, and. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Is this. Did you do the chat on your screen or no? Hmm? Oh, oh, yeah. oh my god, look! Is that what I look like when I put my hair on? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so trippy! Streamception. Wait, hold on. Soon we're gonna. I'm watching myself. <laughs> Soon, You're we're... So cute, Celine. Soon we're gonna watch you. Oh no. Oh. oh. Hi, Iman. I love you. Alright. Oh. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my, oh my god. god! It literally cut out right when they stuck it in. Oh, oh my god, look! Oh no, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, abort, 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 abort. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I have to see what myself cross eyed twice. <laughs> wait, hold on, soon we're gonna. Oh. I'm watching myself. <laughs> soon we're gonna watch you. Alright. <clears throat> Reported for self beer robotting. <laughs> self beer <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, man, it's so weird. I like see myself and then see myself and then. It counts without like an account being logged on? Or actually, no, there is an account logged on, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna look at chat on my phone. Oh, yeah, we have a new emote, guys. Oh, Kimmy Comfy. Yeah. Oh. Kimmy Comfy. Can I get some Kimmy Comfy spam in chat, please? Yeah. Pokey Resub Pog! Oh, I love you! I love you. I love you. Let me, what's it doing? Let's see, let me see my shot. alerts. Whoopsie daisy, wrong button. Um, let's okay, let's see. Chat only apply. Androids for the 300 bits! Uh, wait, no, wait, that's not, that's not. Wait a minute. I don't see any of my alerts. Like, updated. Hmm. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. 
Okay, so just to like preface this a bit, first, first of all, hi guys, welcome. Um, so this, so basically, Celine messaged me last night, and she was like, I was talking, I'm like, how was your stream? And Celine was just like, well, I just talked to my stream for like two hours about like you know being single and like crushes, crushes. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then she was like, I was gonna call you to like talk to you about like just like I don't know random stuff along that topic on stream yesterday but like but then you started ASMR and it wouldn't like bug you or anything so then I was like hey how about we just do that today which is today well I said how about we do it tomorrow which is today yep so yeah here we are Pretty there's much. literally like zero planning um we didn't really think I don't even know what Celine said on stream to be honest no I just um, I just said Kimmy's coming over and we're just streaming on her phone yep and honestly it's not even a podcast. I think I think putting the word podcast to it sets like some sort of expectation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like you don't have mics in front of us. Yeah. We <laughs> don't even have mics. <laughs> so no, we're yeah. just chilling and with the phone out and we're just streaming and that's pretty much it. Yeah. I don't think we've ever done this before. Right? Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Like kind of. Especially just spur of the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Celine and Aria lived next to me. We lived three minutes away from each other for yeah. like months. But we didn't do anything. And never it was really sad. once did we do this. Now they moved like super far away. I had to like go on a journey to get here. <laughs> so oh my true. gosh. <laughs> Much I know. It's so true. Okay, yeah. It means it, each trip will be worth it. We'll yeah. make it worth it. Yeah, that, that, that's true actually. Yeah. Because like since I like spent so much time to get over here, I'm like, Darn tootin' I'm gonna stream today. Darn tootin'! <laughs> hey. Oh, no, this is your second stream, too. Oh yeah, this is all of our stream. second stream. Whoa! Oh, we all started to wow. Good job, guys! Good job! I'm so proud of us! I'm so Whoa. proud of us! I got this, I got this, I got Boba. We all streamed today mm, twice! Mm, mm. Wow. Hi, King. Wow. Okay. That's actually impressive. Okay, if you guys have followed us for like, more than two days, you know that that's like an impressive feat for us. So, uh, good job, it's everyone. It's <laughs> Productivity A. That's so mm -hmm. true. Yeah. So yeah, um, this is gonna be the plob cast. Plob. <laughs> plob. What, what does plob mean? So it's like pleb. Uh huh. But Yvonne at EBC took all the E's because she made a hundred weave bracelets. Oh. <laughs> So this is true, by the way. We could not, we couldn't, we couldn't make her a bracelet that said pleb. So now we had to make her a bracelet that said plob. So, so this will be the plob cast. <laughs> plob cast. Plob yeah. cast. Yeah. All right. So yeah, to start it off, I'll just say that. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. My name is Aria. Oh, oh that, that's good. Sorry. Well, that's a really good, <laughs> no, really solid good. Was, introduction. Yeah, that was really good, actually. Okay. That's the pro streamer. Yeah. She's the pro streamer. <laughs> I, I literally just said my name. <laughs> yeah, but she's standing us up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kimmy. And here we go. And I'm Celine. Hi, guys. Hi. This, this feels like we've never <laughs> streamed before or something. <laughs> No, we're just warming up, you know? Okay, mm -hmm. can I get some claps in chat, please? <laughs> there we go, asking right. the chat, we like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting the, this is an interactive podcast. <laughs> That's right, chat. Thank you, thank you for the claps. Okay, well the last time you saw the three of us, we were dancing. Right. That's true. Do you guys remember how to do it? No. <laughs> I don't remember at all. I'm not doing it. I tried. <laughs> I don't remember at all. I tried to do it on stream. Uh -huh. Oh, really? I don't yeah. remember. I, oh, I, remember, no. I remember this. That's it? Yeah, that's Wait, it. I actually don't remember any of this. it. I don't remember any of it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm a terrible student. It's okay. <laughs> I completely forgot as well. Yeah, it would probably help if chat asked questions. Yes. Oh, well, okay. Topic of today's Plopcast. Yes. Oh, lay, yeah. out the, lay down the topic. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? I don't know. Girl talk. Girl. Okay, <laughs> that's really, really a bad. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, even narrower. Let's, narrower. Let's talk narrower, about narrower, narrower, narrower. narrower. <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> How to English? Wait, okay. narrower is a word, right? Narrower. 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 Narrower.
narrower. Laughing at me. Narrower. It's narrower. Narrower. <laughs> more narrower. narrow. More narrow. More narrow. narrow. It's more narrow. More I narrow. Mean, I was, gonna, it's more to say more narrow. Easier. Narrow, 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 narrow it down. It down. I'm um, gonna narrow it down. Yeah. Chat, stop with the potatoes, please. What? <coughs> that sounds like a dog yelling. <laughs> Come on, bruh. <laughs> okay. The right. topic. Topic is girl talk. More <laughs> specifically, it's. I was gonna say being single, but like whole girl talk single. Oh, yeah. But you can give us a different perspective. On okay, things. sure. So like, um, what? Yeah, we need to have like a group of like all the single people. And Arya for her. Friend. And Arya yeah, for yeah, like yeah, for for Arya's sake, yeah, just yeah. because yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we have to include her because we're all obligated to now. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I feel like long distance relationships sometimes doesn't really feel like your boyfriend's like there there. Mm, yeah, true. To couples who actually like, I'm, spend I'm, time I'm, together. I'm single. I are real. I know. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Where is Johnny? Physically, he's in Vancouver. Okay. So it is an LDR. So how do you guys communicate um, primarily? Uh, just through online messaging apps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and like just like texting and stuff. Texting. Uh huh. Yeah. I feel like for long distance relationships, it's really important to have like an online chemistry. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Well, we don't necessarily, but I think. The most important in LDR is to have goals in mind. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're always looking yeah. forward to something, like oh by the way I'll, I'll visit you mm -hmm. at the end of the month, or you know, oh, and you'll yeah. like think about that, and yeah. then it makes it easier. Yeah, I remember when like Leslie and Edison dated mm -hmm. long distance for like two years. Yeah. Um, for the longest time, I remember Leslie was always planning for like the next trip that she would see him at. Yeah. My brother was like. The next trip would be like, she's going to Seattle, he's coming down here, she's going over there, mm -hmm. he's, he's going down there. And it was at, at least like once or twice a month. So, yeah. yeah. Looking forward to something helps. Mm -hmm. Do you like long distance relationships? No, I hate it. Oh. Hate it. But I've been dating him for over three years now. It would take, it would have to take something more serious than that to break us up for now. Mm -hmm. I actually can't imagine dating someone for two years plus. Yeah, when was your longest relationship? It was this one. It was the one most recent one with Derek. So like a year and a half, a year and a couple months. That's actually months. impressive. Wow. A year. I can't imagine dating anyone a year plus. You never dated someone for a year? Whoa. Wait, seriously, Kimmy? Yeah. Okay, well, I can't say anything because yeah. my most Cold recent one Kimmy. was 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 like my longest too. Mm -hmm. So I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think my longest two were both eight months. And then one was Ooh, completely was one was completely online. He was like he was an eight month long maple story boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, you dated someone in Maple Story for eight months? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We actually yeah. Wow, like for I think, real? Like yeah, you set yourself for aside for him? Yeah, for real. Wait, so for it was real. Like exclusive? Yeah, it was like exclusive. everything was legitimate. Yeah, Whoa. and we would and can maple story together. And this isn't when I was in college. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> we're getting lulls in chat. <laughs> no, okay. Eight months, and what did your friends ask you? They and you said know. you had a. Bo they just thought I was playing Maple Story obsessively. If you talk to any of my friends in college, they were like, "Yeah, Kim was always freaking playing Maple Story." I mean, I had like like nine Maple Story BS. Wow! So like, Girl, I get her ending somehow. <laughs> Come on, man. Right, yeah! Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Wow. Eight months. Yeah, no, I was the sugar mama though. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> I gave him like <clears throat> so in Maple Story I might have been like a really obsessed like FM mer F free market merchant. Whoa. So every server, um, every server update, my friend coded this one program which automatically logged you into Maple Story and and um, like as soon as the servers went up, it it was a program that constantly refreshed the client mm -hmm. that uh, so then right when servers went up before it was even announced on the website it would log you in basically like auto log you in so I don't think it was hacking it was using a third party program I'm very sorry in Exxon but <laughs> <laughs> there goes all your sponsorship so oh, no they don't sponsor me anyway <coughs> two, 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 two. but if you okay. did then like I didn't use those programs no no no, 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 no he didn't um so then I remember getting uh F Free market one channel one spot, which is basically like the, the best. best, the best, the, the best. Yeah. 
um, spot for shops and stuff. So I was like this crazy merchant back in my days. I ruined the name Maple Story economy. It was amazing. Damn. So yeah, I had a very, very serious eight month relationship on Maple Story during this time. Eight months is so long. Really long. Yeah. Wait, how old are you? I she was, said she was in college. Yeah, it was my second year of college. I was 19. I think the longest like Maple Story boyfriend I had was like four, four months, three months. That's a and long. I thought that was a long time. <laughs> and we were like exclusive too, to the point where like my best friend knew about it. But she wow. didn't like. She actually like she's complete normie, like doesn't play games at all. Uh-huh. But she was like very like understanding about it which oh, made me more good. comfortable to like talk to her yeah. about it because i did genuinely like have feelings for him oh. and it, i think oh. he had genuinely feelings for me i don't even know but we we like we would like talk a lot and it, i know it was like normalized in her head though because she had a tumblr boyfriend Whoa. i remember Whoa. that used to be a thing and so like i guess like online dating had its like forms and yeah. shapes like you're right then. you're right yeah but it was just there was just no dating apps. There were no, no yeah. dating no. websites. Yeah. No. There were no. Well, there were probably were dating websites, but like I don't think any. It was like yeah, not, normalized not to use. Them. There was no Tinder. There was no Bumble, Coffee Meets Bagel, Kippo. Yeah. yeah. Kippo. <laughs> Mine was a uh, three logins max, and then I like change names, change character, take all their stuff, and skedaddled. I broke some hearts, but you know, your girl. <laughs> I did the merchant that way, you know. I got in the, the stuff oh my god. That way. He dated really guys bad. for three logins. It was Max. <laughs> and it all started from Gaia oh Online. My god, you're okay? a scammer. Do you know do you know Gaia Online? Yeah, yeah I of love course. Gaia Online. Yeah, I got I hacked it. for the first no. time on that and I was I was really young, but yeah. it scared me, it yeah. scarred me, it, I was heartbroken. Yeah. It took my cloud. Do you know cloud? No. Yeah. Okay, so cloud is like an item that, you know, it's one of those like Oh, fashion it, items okay yeah that transforms and you could have like it, it, it was really really expensive and yeah. it was my only like prized cherished yeah. item and it was one of those stupid like they go into your emails asking for your username and password <laughs> young girl gave them her username and password no! i was innocent i was innocent and then yeah he took everything from me and it broke my heart i cried for days and I went rogue. I was like, right. <laughs> I went rogue. rogue. I was like, I'm gonna hack. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> and then yeah. I played this game called Puzzle Pirates uh-huh. right after. Okay. And I'm like, I'm gonna try hacking. So I like <laughs> typed to people. Are you just like admitting in front of like 1,500 people? Okay, I so was yeah, like, you hacked. <laughs> I was literally like, give me your username and password. And then, <laughs> Followed me, t- typed like he teleported me onto this like separate GM island. It was, it was scary. I I logged off because I was so scared. I logged back on. I get teleported right back in front of him, and he's like, "Don't run away." And I was like, "Ah!" Oh! It was Wait, so this scary. This was on Puzzle Pirates. Puzzle Pirates. Yeah, okay. this is like how I first started trying to scam other people because I knew Gaia. Like I couldn't do it on Gaia, but then. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and then he basically told me, hey, you shouldn't do this. Like, people could get hurt or, like, you know, this is against the rules. We can ban you forever. We can IP ban you. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Okay, so I ditched Puzzle Pirates. And that's when I started to go to Maple Story. <laughs> oh, my God. But yeah, it was horrible. I don't recommend this route, guys. Hey, you, 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 good job. I'm good. I'm clean. I'm clean. I'm sober. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more thug life. No more thug life. Speaking of which, relationships on um, <laughs> thug life. Well, speaking of which, I have relationships. Heart, I have a heart, I swear. So I played this game a- on audition called Auditions. You know Audition? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a rhythm game. Mm-hmm. Catfish stories. Yes. Do you have one? Yeah. No. I was. I have a short one. I I had a couple on audition for a really long time, and I really liked him. Your girl pulled out the the thor- the thor- thesaurus for him, and I would use like high IQ vocabulary because he was apparently high IQ. Yeah, oh, like oh, that's cute though. Yeah, he called me Miss Aria. Good oh, evening, Miss Aria. Like, good you know, evening. Yeah, like he. Wait, hold up, hold up. Oh. One day I looked up his email because we used MSN Messenger on Facebook. No. Oh, it's a girl. No. It's a girl. <laughs> what? No wonder why he knew everything what to say. Sad. You know, 
approached by a girl? Yeah! Like, a girl? Yeah! I was so sad and I was like, damn, like, I mean, damn. what I got out of it was I learned some new words, but like, <laughs> it was really sad. Dude, no wonder. <laughs> That's why he knew what, or he knew what to say to you, like how to like, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, everything girls so want to hear. So caring, yeah. so kind, Aww. and like super attentive, and I was like, wait a sec, you And it was a girl. Real. Wait, did you it confront was, her? Yeah, I confronted her, and then he he would try to, or she would try to like slither away out with a bunch of other fancy words and being disappointed wait, that so I. Wait, so she was, never admitted. No, and I was like, Ooh. wait, this makes so much sense because you would never like video chat me. Yeah, and then I yeah, the same shit next happened next to me. Next to me. Go, go, go. What a maple story. She goes this to me after that. Bitch, this bitch, this bitch's name was Yuki. Okay. Ooh, and Yuki. Yuki. <laughs> And I'm saying this bitch because she was actually a bishop, okay? I'm not calling her like a Oh, bishop? Yeah. yeah, she was a bishop. Oh, oh, so, oh same. Bishop. Yeah, yeah. You're saying this bitch. bitch! Team bishop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she was a bishop of Maple Story. And this is way back when bishops sold leech. And yes. leech is basically yes. when you party with somebody and then one person does absolutely <laughs> nothing and the other person like is the one that like attacks the, the mobs and mm -hmm. monsters and the the one that he's doing nothing mm -hmm. like it's leveled really mm -hmm. fast. Mm -hmm. So bishops had this one skill called Genesis, and Genesis mm -hmm. hit every single yes. mob on the yeah. entire map yeah. at the same time. Yeah. So bishops were like OP for leeching. So she was a bishop, and then I was like, uh, I started, and I met her on like mm -hmm. one of my new characters. So mm -hmm. I was like this little noob, and then, um, and then she's like, oh, like she knew my friends and stuff because my friends are like cool bishops too. And uh -huh. she's like, hey, let me like help leech this character for you. And I'm like, okay, like, oh, okay. Free XP. Yeah, so then we started hanging out a lot and she was like so cute. And then we got to the point where we became such good friends mm -hmm. that she started telling me in detail stories about her life, her Ooh. days, her brother. She sent me pictures, but she never ever webcam me and never talked on Skype. And this is also in college. I'm not mm -hmm. like 12. Yeah. Like, I'm literally a grown-ass woman. I'm, like, mm -hmm. 18 years old when this happens. And I'm... This is... This was literally my... This is where my freshman year went in college. To this bitch named Yuki. Again, bish, bishop. 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 Yeah. Bishop. Not... Bishop. Not... Bishop. Not... Not... Bishop. Not... Not... Bish. Bishop. To this <laughs> bitch Yuki, okay? My entire freshman year, I just talked to her basically exclusively until I... I again, I typed her name into Google or Facebook, whatever. And it was a freaking dude that came up. Reverse catfish, but like kind of works in your favor. Yes, no, maybe so, no. And the fact that he like did, yeah, I guess since he made it up and uh -huh. like, that's just trusting it, yeah. We were so close to the point where my parents agreed to let me study abroad in Australia to meet her. That's how close we were. Wait, oh. that's like, isn't that kind of, what's the word, predatory? Like what, because what if he actually like oh. kept on going? No, yeah, I know. But like, lucky for me, when I told Yuki that, yeah. she she was she was the one who was like, oh, actually, like she's like, uh, oh god, I don't want to yeah, admit it. Okay. No, she never did. So I confronted her afterwards, and I'm like, I have all the proof. And she literally, again, she told the same thing that 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 girl did. Or whatever. Oh, like she never admitted god. to it to this day. I have no closure. That's so sad. That's how close we were. We're like best friends. Damn. Yeah. Because I like. If they at least like admitted it was like, hey, sorry, it was fucked up of me, never meant to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then at least you could have like come out with still a friend yeah, or more yeah, like. Yeah, exactly. When I confronted yeah. her, I'm like, hey, like, we're really good friends. I'm like, I don't, I'm not mad at you or anything, mm -hmm. but just tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. But it was crazy how detailed every single story was that she told me. Yeah. Every single story she told me was <clears throat> insanely detailed with pictures. Damn. And every single thing was a lie. I, I reverse Google image searched every picture that she sent me uh -huh. and I found them all on, on random Asian websites. Like stockpile photos? Uh, they, they were, they're like cam girl sites, but like they're all clothed. They're just really pretty girls who are clothed by the friend. way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I thought she was like really effing hot <coughs> too. And I'm like, damn, yeah, I have a hot friend in Australia. You know? Reverse Google image search is OP. <laughs> and they're all different girls. Unfortunate. Yep. Do you have a catfish story, Slim? Wow. You lived a, yeah. a nice life. I didn't talk to online people until like way later. But it didn't happen to you in college, you yeah. said too. Yeah, so. it happens 
This all happened when I was 18 and 19 years old. If I've been catfish, I don't know I was catfish. Oh, oh and you never yeah, like, looked yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah. I never, yeah. I never like, I think developed like a serious mm-hmm. relationship with someone, and then like found out later that they weren't like. Who knows? Maybe my maple boyfriends were girls, but I I will never know. Yeah. Yeah. So You're probably not. Then I have no idea. I mean, I never like tried looking into it either. I have a really weird story, but it's kind of creepy. I don't recommend you guys ever go this route. But I got catfished before by the um by a girl, another girl also on audition before the other thing happened. But um, I actually liked him because the pictures that she used for him was a real guy she knew in high school that she was probably crushing on herself. Oh, and, damn, this is elaborate. Yeah, and the thing is, I actually fell for this girl, or this guy, and because I was like, oh wow, he's cute, and yeah, it's great. And she started feeling really bad, because I was literally like, eh, I like you too, hee <laughs> hee. Like, you know, and she's like, oh wait, like, and I was, you know when you like have a crush on someone online, especially in games, you look forward to them logging on, yeah. and you message them right away, like, welcome that back. was me, yeah, welcome back, heart, like, that was me, I was really excited for her, her to log on, Aww. so then she was like, hey, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a girl, mm-hmm. and I, you actually know me, I, I'm actually this, this account name, and I was like, oh, how could you, I felt so betrayed, and she's like, hey, go on, go on MSN, so I went on MSN, and she actually put me in a group chat with the real guy. Oh! Yes, this, is, this really happened, yes, yes. Um, That's so cute, actually. Yeah, we ended up talking, and it, it ended up kind of working out, mm-hmm. but I only dated him for maybe like two months, and I realized he was kind of creepy, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Wait, that's actually but at least so that happens. Yeah. So, but I don't recommend you guys go that way because yeah. dishonesty is just yeah. ain't the policy. So yeah. yeah, it was it was awkward. Yeah. I had a similar story actually. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel like I, I'm starting to feel like everyone who like goes on Maple Story has like very similar oh, God. <laughs> stories. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of meet everyone in Maple Story, you know. That's why yeah. Twitch didn't surprise me much. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it's kind of like a bigger version of Maple Story. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> basically, so. Um, I had this friend named Lisa, and she always had, like, really janky girly outfits. Like, she always looked really cute, but there was something about her outfits that were, like, really janky. Like, her Maple Street character? Yeah, her Maple Street oh, character. Oh. Like, like, I'm like... I'm Judging like, pixels? Oh, man. I'm like, no girl! I'm like, that's, like, a cute outfit, but, like, it's an outfit, like, no girl would actually buy. Put together, and, yeah. like, the combinations yeah, were like, awkward. Yeah, like, you were a girl. Like, yeah. Like, she, oh, like, like got it. Yeah. the guy who put it together? Yeah, okay. uh, <laughs> like, 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 I, I know. I know, but yeah. when you know guys to go into the yeah. NX shop and yeah. it's like, hey, yeah. 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 Holy crap! No, holy like, crap! I remember just You can tell. I remember just You can tell it's a dude. He wore this really cute flowery blue dress, but it went down to the ankles in Maple Story. I know which dress you're talking about. It's like it's like yeah. a triangle looking dress. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know and it, that it's one. really cute if it was like shorter. Yeah. But I'm like, I have never seen a girl wear that. That yeah. is, so, why would you cover all of your pixels in Maple Story? Why would you cover You should just wear true. the sluttiest thing. It's freaking Maple Story, yeah. right? Bikini like, no outfits girl always. would wear a dress down to her knee, down to her ankles, <laughs> right? And then, um, so then she would always wear like these really, like every, uh, every outfit was a bit off. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, okay, maybe that's just like her taste or something. I don't know. But she was really cool. She was always down to like, do things like um care about like like damage going bosses mm-hmm. she was always like the one that was like really hardcore about like her items mm-hmm. and like getting strong and stuff so i'm like hey this girl is like badass and like into the girl. game hey, yeah like, like she was obsessed with the game i would always see her on <clears throat> and then one day she dramatically was like you guys i'm moving to zenith i can't tell you why the fuck i'm moving zenith? server change yeah she's like i'm server changing today why <laughs> and then and then we're like, why? And she's like, if I tell you, you guys will hate me. And we're like, just, just tell us. And then, so then eventually she's like, okay, guys, I'm a guy. Yeah, we kind of noticed. Yeah. Our <laughs> yeah. And I'm still friends with him, her, to. I still Aww. call him Lisa, to be honest. Lisa? <laughs> wow. I like, I still call him Lisa. He was one of my friends who he he actually was the one who got me to league of legends he, he boosted me to gold my, first, to me my gold. first season he literally went on my account oh yeah and got me gold my yeah. first season I, I had a guy that did that for me too. yeah so thanks 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 lisa i you, would always say no now you're the homie <laughs> i wouldn't do that anymore but like no dude i felt so guilty about 
him going on my account, right? Yeah. I can talk about this now, guys, because after he did it, I emailed Riot. <gasps> and I was like, yeah, and I'm like, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I didn't know this was bad. Like, I'm sure I can still <laughs> find the ticket, actually. But that's I, so I sent, funny. I sent in a ticket to Riot. You should have oh applied my God. <laughs> like, you two shoes. You should have applied to the me. LPP with that, like, with a screenshot oh of your ticket. God. Oh, my God. And then, and then I'm like, I didn't, I didn't know. On Maple Story, everyone logs into each other's camera. Yeah, like, that's true. It's just a thing. And I'm like, I didn't know it was bad. Did they so, ever reply? Yeah, so they replied, and they're like, we don't know what to do with your tickets. <laughs> So I'm going to forward you to another department. Oh, shit. And I was even like, you can take away my rewards, just don't take away his rewards. I forced him to do it. Oh. For me. Yeah, and then they never said anything, so I'm, I'm guessing we goofed. So, like, yeah. But don't do that, guys. Yeah, don't, don't boost accounts. Yeah, just don't do it. Feel so. free to yeah. do OQ, but don't, yeah. don't go on other people's accounts. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, I felt really guilty that. too. And what's worse is that um, every time I went on the na.op.gg, mm -hmm. I would have like, I remember like a Lee Sin game or just like random games that like pop the F off. I'm like, that ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't me. <laughs> so it's like just so traumatizing. Just, and I like, every time I look back, I'm so ashamed. Oh, and I'm like, uh. and at one point I'm like, maybe, maybe I could pick up this champion real quick. No, I can't. I can't. Girl, and I refunded the champion. Oh, you did? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? That, can, that makes your case stronger. What? Wait, that still should have just learned Lee Yeah. Nope, I, yeah, at least I tried. I still don't own him. <laughs> at least I tried. I remember, oh my god, I remember season three, I tried lying my way out because someone was like, yo, you're really good at Tristan. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, 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 like old Tristana. <laughs> Not the new one. Oh, an old camp player now. <laughs> they only changed like a couple things. She's pretty much the same, but. I mean, I, I play Tristana now, guys. I play Tristana, and I swear it was only one game. But I play Tristana. <laughs> I play now. You play one game. I, they played one game. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but okay, I, okay, I, okay, I yeah, picked yeah. up Tristana, and I did it successfully. <laughs> Try doing Lee Sin. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Yeah. I gave up on the, the least and Yeah. But. <laughs> Agreed. Good times. <laughs> How'd you guys meet your Maple Story boyfriend? Oh my god. <laughs> I actually used the weather. Like oh. the. <gasps> what? The Maple Story pixel weather? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to FM. I went to FM. Oh. Channel 1. My I literally god. was like, look no. for an SPF. No, meet you me didn't. in Channel no, 5. You did it. Are you serious? Yes, and they met me there. I literally, right when I did that, I cc and I went to the FM, and then dish, 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 <laughs> raining men. you can buy with money and yeah. you literally just type in a little message and like and like little sprinkles go yes. all over the the computer screen i used the valentine and, one i was serious and aria i meant business paid like 50 cents to be like lf bf yeah it's like it's like irl taking a megaphone and be like <laughs> look at our boyfriend yeah <laughs> Good times. 
And then I would like prove your love to me by buying a couple ring. <laughs> <laughs> they bought it. We're good for a couple logins. <laughs> I quickly remove that shit and I go on to the next. Aya, Aya. Well, I kind Love of days. Love days. I the kind past. of had a similar, but not really. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell us. So this is my. This is the first boyfriend I ever. I was. I remember distinctly. I remember I was like 13 years old. Oh my. Because I remember when I was on Maple Story when I was 13 years old. I remember thinking to myself, I am so young right now, and it feels freaking awesome. Mm. Like everyone else is old, but I'm like this cute little young chibi girl. Oh, I'm 13. Okay, you know? Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, you know. So I was like, <laughs> and then there's this. I was in Ludi, and there's this dark night. This is so far back. The DK. Is, yeah, there's a dark wow. night. Wow. And there's this dark night, and he was training all of these te pink teddy bears yeah. or brown yeah. teddy bears, whatever. The DKs were so attractive. Yeah, and I'm like, they were. They were so attractive. I was more of a bandit type like, of girl, but okay. You do, but like guys who are assassins were like edge lords and too I, much. Me. I don't like that. Assassin. Oh no, no, the girls are okay. okay. Guy, guys are like too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. DK guys were really yeah, attractive. They're like, like, they're, like, they're, like, stable, they're like stable, they're like sturdy, cool. like really cool. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I walked up to him and I was like, "You want to be my BF?" And and um, his name was Eric, and he then became a game master. Whoa! Yeah, he actually. So then, like the next in the next few years, uh, he became an actual game master. Wow! So, best of best. Man. So that was really yeah. That was actually really cool for me. Like he couldn't do anything for me, obviously, but like, yeah, he could turn invisible and he had the GM hat on. And back when I was like twelve, I mean like fourteen or whatever, I thought it was really cool actually. Yeah. So mm, cute. Yeah. So then um. So that's that. And he Eric was actually. I'm still friends with Eric. I kind of lost his number by now, but like. But like, yeah, Eric. He probably still works at the headquarters. Oh no, he's he quit by now. Oh, there's okay. no way. This he is like so long ago. Sorry, Eric. But uh, oh, true. This is when you were 13. Yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, that gosh. was 13 years. Wait, what if he was like ago. 30 then? Oh no, no, we we like uh, he wasn't shady at all. We were like mm -hmm. super open. We were like sent oh. each other <laughs> photos of each other on our flip phones and mm -hmm. stuff. Like, Aww. Actually, we had like Motorola flip phones. You had we, phone when you were 13. I had a phone when I was sixth grade. Yeah. Sixth grade, yes, yeah, yeah. Sixth grade. That was my first one. I had the LG chocolate side. Ooh, Adam. yeah, the, I wanted that one so bad. Really? I wanted the chocolate one, but uh, T-Mobile didn't carry it or something. Or I had, had uh, I'd Sprint or something. Mm. Yeah, I was so jealous. I remember <laughs> all the popular phones: the Pebble, the BlackBerry. Oh, the I was so jealous of my friends that had a Pebble. She had the Pebble, the green one, and that was super rare. I've never heard of the Pebble. The Pebble? Oh yeah, it's Motorola. It's just, it's yeah. Basic. Yeah, it oh. just looks like a rock. So it looks like oh. a rock and a you just skip. Oh, I yes. like the chocolate. SMSD did a commercial for it. Yes, I you bet. Run, run, yeah. Run, run, so run, jealous. Run. Yes, chocolate was nice. But yeah. yeah. It was nice. <laughs> Celine. <laughs> And Wait, then, how did you meet your Maple Story boyfriend? And okay, okay, so I have two I had two Maple Story boyfriends. One divorced me. The <gasps> other one I'm still married to. Oh! oh! That other one was like the one that we were like really serious and my best friend knew about it. Anyway, the first one, the one who divorced me, I logged on one day and he had divorced me. I was just like, what? It came out of nowhere. Anyway, um, we met in CPQ. Oh, the Monster wow. Carnival PQ thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. just met in CPQ. I don't even remember how we started talking. <laughs> he had that... That hair, like this, this hair. Oh, this oh, hair. Uh, oh, dream catcher. Uh, or, uh, uh, no, 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 not dream catcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, this one, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah, yeah. had that look with the, like the red flannel. <laughs> <laughs> was he a bandit? I think he was a bandit. I freaking knew it. Oh bandit <laughs> always wear that flannel. <laughs> that red flannel. <laughs> he had the this hair and then the red flannel, and we met in CPQ. That one wasn't very special. Oh my god, antagonist <laughs> hair. Oh, antagonist, oh it's antagonist, it's Chad antagonist. No, yes, it's antagonist. It's that hair. It was, it was the fuck boy yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the fuck boy hair. It was with this hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the and the and the and those eyes that the you know the small the anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was that was one. I swear they always wear that. They they go to to that red flannel look all the time. The the biggest fuck boys. Yeah, yeah. You choose the flat. Imagine choosing a flannel IRL because it's like the hype beast look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you choose it in Maple oh, Story too. Oh my god, you're right. The flannels, the like, like they're hype beast in Maple Story. <laughs> they are. Wow, that's actually. They're 
Because sometimes they, they, they buy that cap, too, that goes backwards. Yeah, oh and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> they were like, be some maple story. Yeah. Yeah. I always like the ones that actually go pastel theme, too. Because I'm like, yeah, wow, yeah. you're artsy fartsy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You got style. <laughs> and then my second maple story boyfriend that I'm still married to, mm-hmm. we met while it was funny because like we neither of us were on our mains we both made wild hunters that day and you know back i don't know if they still have it but when wild hunter was like first released people would like skip through channels to look for gyra which was like the black uh (laughs) panther or cougar i don't know what the cat's called with like the markings on her eye i like the white one and she had she had like um uh, 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 she had like additional jump stats and movement speed stats, Ooh. and so people were hunting for her. Yeah. And I w- or jaguar, jaguar, thank you. And I was like, skip. I was like changing channels, and he got cha- he was changing channels too. And he was just like, "Are you looking for Jared?" And I was like, "Yeah." Oh. And then we just started talking. Oh, so and then yeah, and then we just started talking, and then we ended up like wow. both our mains were actually Arons, and we started like hanging out on our Arons together. Oh. And then, we just, yep, we just like pure, that's so cute. no, like pure couple. We were, we were like a legitimate couple. We like made an email account to share, oh and we like sent letters to each other on email. Like we just like addressed it to have ourselves. To find those. <laughs> I'm getting diabetes. And, and yeah, I, I have them. Do you still have them? Yeah, I have the emails. Wait, I, I'm opening I, those. I was gonna say I have the emails from that guy that I like I was set up with, but they're like real creepy. Oh, oh. <laughs> they're the reasons why I broke up with him. Oh, wait, like, what do you mean creepy? He would tell me about, like, his dreams about me. And we were never on that stage. And then he was, like, oh. also four, three or four years my senior. So it really creeped me How out. How old were you? I was, I would say 10th grade, 11th grade. Oh, okay. So I wasn't, like, okay, at least like, you weren't, like I didn't, 10. yeah, I wasn't 10. Yeah. But it, but then in Vancouver, we were pretty prude. Like, we didn't talk about mm-hmm. sex and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. it just wasn't a thing. Yeah. So when he was giving me really raunchy emails, I was like... Wait, he would talk oh, about, ew. He would talk about that stuff. Ew. I feel like that's, like, the number one no, no. <laughs> <laughs> At least, it would be fine if you both were consensual yeah, and you both did it. Yeah, but, like but I was literally like, yeah. so today I had fun. <laughs> like, you know, like, I was like, real I innocent. banged you in my dream God! Life. God! <laughs> we never met. Yeah. We oh never God. met at that point, so I was like, how can someone think these weird things? Like, yikes, I was, yikes, we yikes. were just not on the same page. Yikes. Well, maybe yikes. I want to read them. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show, Wait, you. Really? I'll show you my emails. Okay, okay. Wait, I wish I had but, emails. I but my emails. emails are, like, all, like, you guys are going to cringe so Oh, my God! Oh, I want to see you! I want to see you! Just, see like, yours are probably, like, hey, well, how was your day? Yeah, it's just, like, oh. Oh. it's just, like, how was your day? Like we like, cause he knew I really like stars. We'd like talk about like oh. going to places and like, had, cause he well, granted I don't know if any of this is true, right? Like <laughs> oh, at yeah, the end true. of the day, I don't know if any of it is true. But like he'd like talk about like, cause he'd always like he had a, this like core friend group that he had, and he'd always like hang out with them, and they'd actually like go like what like mm-hmm. look at stars together. Oh. And occasionally I'd like bump into them in Maple Story, uh-huh. and I became friends with those like IRL friends oh, who played Maple cool. Story too. Well. Granted, I don't know if any of this is real, but yes. <laughs> uh, well, it's probably real. I think, like, the thing is, like, I think he he, ha- he has no reason to, like, make it up. I feel like you guys met in such a genuine fashion that, like, I feel like how we met our Maple Story boys <laughs> who were crazy, where, like, literally she, like, mega fell and said, hey, I need to <laughs> Literally. And for me, I just, like, walk up to someone, want to be my Maple Story boyfriend? <laughs> Like, you know, like, I, I feel like if you meet someone in a genuine fraction, fashion, then, like, you know... It's less likely. They'll probably be a genuine person. I would hope so. Yeah, usually, I would I mean, say. I can imagine, like, exaggerating to make his case stronger. Yeah. That could happen, but, yeah, if it did go serious... I'm gonna try to log you could on read that. to our account. Yay! Okay. Okay, let me get my phone. Oh my god. I need to try this to get happening. this. <laughs> I'm this trying to think if I have but... any, anything. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Oh my god, I need to log into my damn hotmail, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, same, it's my hotmail. I'm like, fudge, I'm trying to like remember what our account was called. I'm so excited. Please find them. I will try. How's the audio, you guys? I just, oh yeah, sorry for like screaming in your guys' ear. Oh no, 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 no. I, I think it's fine. I deleted it. Audio is good? I'm gonna try. 
Are you guys enjoying the the podcast so far? You guys have any questions? Hey, everyone's having a good time. Yay. <laughs> Yay! Oh no. <clears throat> Don't you have an Australian girlfriend? Somebody asks. Yes. Yes. But 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 I thought she was literally just a girl who was like my best friend. I've always growing up I've always had a girl best friend. Um mm -hmm. like platonic, I mean obviously like I've had like I've always had like a best girlfriend. Not cup of pride, just like yeah, I've always had a best friend who's a girl. Yeah. <clears throat> so in high school, I had two best friends who were girls. One, her name was Sheila. She was half Persian and half white. She's very smart. She is now an optometrist. She went to Berkeley. Very smart to go particle. And <clears throat> we're still really good friends. She was like my best, best, best friend since the sixth grade. And then <clears throat> I had another girl, best friend. Her name was Annie. And she was in, she is still Vietnamese. I'm actually going to the Corgi um corgi race this sunday and i'm gonna go with her so you guys might see her on stream if i stream with peter <clears throat> and uh she is applying to med school now so she's also a smarticle particle and <coughs> smarticle particle yeah that's why after coming into twitch i met so many cool girls and i'm like Ooh, this is my dream <laughs> so many girlfriends yeah are they single no they're both taken <clears throat> <laughs> I'm the only one who's always single out of all my friend groups. So this is nice having somebody to talk about single stuff with. Oh crap, I think. Oh, no. Did you find it? I deleted that email. Oh so, but no! I might have told someone about how creepy he was, so. Your girl gonna have to look through all her tea. <laughs> <laughs> I love tea. People think I like coffee a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> See. What? <laughs> I, honestly, I like tea more than coffee. Mm. I'm serious. <laughs> no, I honestly like coffee is kind of a meme, but like real real talk, I like tea. <laughs> Does that change my branding? I mean, Starbucks isn't gonna sponsor me anyway. Tivana, Tivana. Want to sponsor me? <clears throat> I used to work at a boba shop, and I thought my supervisor was really cute. He was like a mechanical engineer, and um, he was like really cool, like bad boy. <coughs> and um, I was like the newbie, and then he was really nice to me outside of work. And then as soon as I started working, uh, for this boba place, he was really mean to me. To the point where, to the point where I got an order wrong, and and he takes the receipt of the order I got wrong, and in front of a customer, <coughs> in front of a customer and my manager, he's like, "You got this fucking order wrong again," oh, and he stormed inside the kitchen. What the? Heck? And my manager, okay. And if you guys don't know, it's manager, supervisor, me. This was him. So he did this in front of me and my manager. And we both looked at each other and we're like, did, did, he, did he just... Like, my manager loved me. Everyone, like, everyone there loved me. But this angsty boy that I had, like, a little crush on before working did that to me. And you know what, bitch? He got no bonus for that entire month because of that. Woo! But yeah. <coughs> so... <coughs> So I thought he was so weird that I to totally suppressed this out of my mind. But, so... <clears throat> oh, you found it! Okay, wait, I found something. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> it wasn't the emails, okay, but... Okay, okay. Uh, So fast forward many years, like maybe four or five years, I moved to California. Okay. This guy was from California. Okay. I was from Vancouver mm -hmm. uh, when we were dating, e-dating. Um, and I kid you not, this is like the craziest coincidence, his parents ate at my restaurant, and they talked about us, how we went to the same college. And I kid you not, they made me contact him because I didn't drive my first year of college. So he literally found out, or we told, I told him my schedule yeah. just so he could drive me. 
It was this so weird. This is the guy yes. we met at yes. the Maple Store? Yeah, 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 Who yeah, yeah. you... Yeah, yeah. Well, Creamy it was like like five, five years ago. Yeah, so I was literally and like, and you asked him to give you rides to I, school. I didn't want to learn how to drive, but <laughs> Arya. Like his parents, like my parents, and it was it was. He had dreams of you naked. Okay, well, not naked, but like making out and gross. Yeah, okay, but but, but look at this. Guys, don't just try not to cringe too hard. Hold on. No, I'll, no, I'll you're so cute. That looks like the, that looks like a, a MySpace thing. I'm like, yeah, it like was. Like Zanga MySpace It days. kind of was. I had a Zanga. This was on my Zanga. Okay. Focus, this is focus, so focus. embarrassing. Look what's the text. Durr. <laughs> it's me. Durr. Look at my big clip That's and my big hair. so cute. <laughs> Gothic days. Oh, man. That was so very hard time. That's so cute. And <laughs> the freaking text after was emails are forever. <laughs> I stopped talking to him after that. Wait, so he actually drove you to school though? Yes. Like, yes. <coughs> he drove me to school because we found out that we, we live close to him. Yeah. Yeah. OC yeah. is small. Oh, I was from the OC too. Yeah. 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 We talked about this. Yeah. You're like up there. I'm like down there. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> world. Bye, bye, bye. What if our paths crossed before it's worth like? I mean, we probably saw each other at a diamond jamboree, but we yeah. didn't see anything. Yeah, probably. That was like the best area to chill. Mm -hmm. Oh, I yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool dad. Did you find anything, Celine? Oh, oh god. god! Oh god! Okay, read us a passage. Yeah, yeah I have to change my password for this. Read us something. You can. Like, <coughs> we won't embarrass you and expose uh, everything. Uh, <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Here, I'll read. I'm so excited. Oh my god, this is so cringy. Oh my god, I cannot read this aloud. I'll read it. Oh my god, I want to read, read it, it so badly. Okay. Wait, this isn't even bad. This is like really, this is like well worded. It's not cringy. It's like, oh, this is to you. Yeah, this is to me. Oh, can I read it? Okay, okay. It's, it's, not, really it's, not, it's not cringy. It's not cringy. It's his words. <clears throat> to Celine. Sorry for taking so long to reply. I saw this email, and well, to be very honest, I didn't really know how to write back. I was never as eloquent as you are. Oh, honey. So here I am, two weeks later. Lol. What? Two well, weeks? <laughs> well, as you probably already figured out, this inbox isn't exa exactly untouched. I come back time to time, <clears throat> practically every day, <clears throat> to just read over some of the emails we sent to each other, rubbing the salt into the proverbial wound, as if I'd let this fragment be forgotten. Best year and a half I've ever chosen to spend. In some ways, the lack of physicality made things both better and worse for me. It was real for me too. How poetic. You're, go you're gonna have to teach me to be as smooth spoken as you are. <gasps> That's a little blow. <laughs> That's something he wrote to me. That's yeah. so cute. I was, I was expecting you guys to be like, ooh, ooh love you, baby, ooh, ooh. Mm, wow, yeah. that is not what I expected. That's super, <laughs> super cute. That was so, How old were you? so cute. Um, this was senior year of high school. Okay, so so you were like seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Eighteen, I got catfished by a girl in Australia, and, <laughs> and seventeen, you were doing that. Yeah. Holy crap! Wait, this is so cute. Yeah, this is. This oh. is yeah. We have like a. I was looking. So this is, that's like. Wow. So we yeah. Wow, you guys talked a and lot. I, yeah, we talked a lot. I look back and I I thought it was like a couple months, but. I guess we started dating in January of 2012. Uh, 
And wow, then 2012. We sent messages throughout. I guess this was, oh, this was when we were dating. So up to like oh. February. So we only did date for like a couple of months. But we, yeah. we still like talked. Aww. Do you guys ever say I love you? Yeah, we said I love you like all Aww. the time. Oh, Damn. That's so cute. <coughs> yeah, we, we just talk. Damn. That's cute. Yep. 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 Um, we were very, like, elaborate with our words. Don't you miss that, though? Yeah. Like, so, yeah. like it, I, if you. I wasn't, were, I wasn't ever the type of person to be like, hey, what's up? What you doing? I was never the type to be like that. I was very, like, wordy. I was always talking in, like, paragraphs like sentences Aww. vocabulary you were meaningful i was i was always talking like that so yep is that yep. how you still are with guys would you say i think i prefer to be like that with guys but i i understand social cues now <laughs> and i know you're not supposed to talk in like complete sentences but i still like end up rambling a little bit when i try to talk to people so and i'm like sorry i'm like quadruple texting oh so <laughs> cute wait is that bad the reason why i love texting girls is because girls don't care if you like no. quadruple text we prefer it yeah you have more to work with yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's true i like getting long messages but I don't know. I know it's, like, not the social dorm thing to do. Oh, I mean, like, I don't know. I haven't dated in so long. Like, I don't even know anymore, like, what the social norm is to do. I but definitely am the short cut, short and straight to the point. Wow, I, I, I feel, like, very mm. different energies on either side of me. Yeah. <laughs> We're super opposite, Celine. Yeah, we definitely I'm like, But we complement each other well. Yeah, I'm pretty in the middle. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> yeah, no, I was always that, like, super wordy, but then I had to, like, learn that, like, you're not supposed to be wordy with, like, people you just meet, and so I just, like, think it in my head and not say it aloud, and, yeah, through, like, a lot of social, socializing, I learned <coughs> what is normal and what is not. And I actually really like and appreciate being wordier, because for me, sometimes, I could actually catfish and be a guy, like, of how short... <laughs> And like straight to the point I am sometimes. I'm blunt and not pretty, not flowery. So people are like, What do you like me? And I'm like, wait, I do. I do dot. <laughs> <laughs> I do dot <laughs> <laughs> And then I like throw my phone away and I like bake for like five hours and they oh really my, don't know. Oh so I leave gosh. people hanging a lot. Damn. Are ya? Oh my god. Definitely just opposite. I, I don't, I mean no harm, I promise. I probably am baking cookies just for you. So Aww. it's like, I sh you you're a more action, action yeah, type of girl. I am. Mm. Oh, what's your guys' love language? Um, <laughs> oh, so basically, <laughs> chat. Okay. So people have uh, their own love language, okay? There's physical touch, there's words of affirmation, there's quality time, acts of service, and gifts. And although everyone obviously likes anything, um, usually people have like preferences to like what they personally find like the most love out of mm -hmm. themselves, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My <coughs> top is touch, and then number really? two. But you never hug Lily. Not with girls. Really? Like, this is oh. for guys, right? Because I, I took oh, the test thinking yeah. it was for men. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I like touch. Sense. And then my second is quality time. Mm -hmm. Quality time and touch. So, yeah. like, cuddling, like, makes you happy. Yeah, or, like, planned, mm -hmm. spend time with each other hours. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, wow, I like this. Uh-huh. But I think, like, they can change. Yeah, I think it depends on the person as well. Yeah. Change depend changes depending on, like, yeah. who you're with and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But with girls... Probably like words of affirmation. Mm, okay. But I don't want it from guys. I don't need yeah. it from guys. Yeah. I think like I, I'm kind of similar actually in the mm -hmm. sense that like I typically am not a very like touchy person mm. uh, for guys, especially like for guys. Like, yeah. Not me. Can I come here, boys? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's it's that hour, ladies. Eighteen plus podcast. What? Let's go. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> no, I love it. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But go on. So 
like when I can get physically intimate with a guy, mm-hmm. like even as friends, it means like so much. Yeah. Yeah. You have to really, <coughs> if you're my guy friend and you want to be like, make me comfortable even like hugging you and like whatever, you have to be like very, very patient and mm-hmm. you have to be around for a long time. Long con. Yeah. Good. I must trust. Thirteen, woo! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For you? Well, are ya? Me, me, she's the taken one. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm talking about passy spirit. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You right. My body is a temple. <laughs> to name. <laughs> I don't want to hear that coming out of your mouth. Aria. Temple does Christian signs. Oh man, I meant. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. Oh I, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I need to excuse myself. I'm a human. I need to excuse myself. <laughs> Holy crap, oh my man. Oh my god. So what did you say your love languages are? Oh, I guess for guys it would be... Uh, it would be physical touch. Number one. Quality time. Acts of service, gifts. What's the other one? Uh, words of affirmation. Yeah, they're all number one for me. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, is this in chronological order? No, or I like priority? Yeah, no, yeah. But you need them all. Yeah, okay. All of them. Okay. Yeah. I don't think that's how the test works, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I actually the last mm-hmm. time I took the test, uh, on four of them I scored sevens. Like it was seven, 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 and gifts was last at like a five. Oh, so you are super well rounded. Yeah. So actually, so I don't prefer anything strongly, but I kind of just generally want everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kimi, about you being single. <laughs> okay, I'd like to say it's because since I've been single for four years, okay. <clears throat> okay. This is, I, I'm holding a magnet. <laughs> I, 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 I seem to have discovered the reason why you might be single. Two hundred dollars service. Uh, Two hundred dollars for my services, please. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Listen, listen. listen. <laughs> Magnifying <laughs> glass. Listen. Okay, I can, I can explain. Okay, I've been single for four years. So that means that I can take care of myself fully. So that means, that means I don't necessarily need anything in particular, right? I don't really need anything, so I'll just take it all. I'll appreciate anything. I'll take anything. <laughs> you know, when people, when people come to me and they're like, damn, I can't believe you can be single. <laughs> question it anymore and then I'm gonna be like dude I can't believe Kimmy's single I'm like oh really <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Everyone. let me just like pull up my reasons why Kimmy's single <laughs> I hate everyone no I think you're very idealistic and maybe 13 <laughs> okay no okay for the love language just everyone has the same amount of points so it's like let's say your quality time is like a 15 my everything for me is a seven <laughs> so it's not like i need everything it's like i need everything i don't need anything like i'll take i'll be happy with anything okay that's like one way to think yeah about it. that's what so everyone's given the same amount of points so it's not like every single one of mine is like 15 all, all of mine are sevens. That's true. So it's like, you know. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I still want everything. <laughs> I've everything. actually never met someone who was, like, well-rounded about everything. I think I'm um, the type who's, like, very... I I think I'm a natural, like, people pleaser. <laughs> uh-huh. So I think, like, I like... I expect different things from different people, depending on who I'm with. I guess that's true. So once I find a guy... I know my expectations will, like, change. For example, let's say it's, like, Albie, right? Albie, ha- like, he hates touching mm-hmm. so much. So that means if I did it, Albie, physical touch would probably mean a lot to him. Mm-hmm. 
to me. Yeah, I was gonna I, say, I was gonna say, you me. probably took this test without any guy yeah, exactly, in mind. Exactly. And that's why you ended up having like an average score for everything. Yeah. Because if you had a guy in mind, the lack of something from the said guy yeah. would probably make you score higher about exactly. that. Because if I dated a guy who, it would... who was all about physical Freaking touch. Jake just said loner's podcast. <laughs> Is that ex-Smithy Jake or Jake and Bake? Ex-Smithy Jake. Hey, you get your single ass over here too, Jake, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we have a spot just for you. <laughs> Come on, Jakey. <laughs> Dude, if you're gonna call us out, then you have to come. <laughs> Duh. Here, we'll text you the address. <laughs> <laughs> See you in 30 minutes. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, so like, what were you talking Oh yeah, so if I dated a guy who was really, really, really touchy and like physically intimate, like, like bed's very touchy. Yes. Being physical with him if I dated him would probably mean like less than if Alfie was physical with me if I dated him. It's so weird because like for a touchy like Holy if shoot. somebody is touchy oh is it not charging it is charging can not. i use do you have another iphone charger uh because like my my wire oh, is, oh do you have one yeah my wire charges super slow i think you need a new charger maybe. yeah i i ordered a new one it's coming my my wire charger is iphone, slow. iPhone. <clears throat> oh, they F because you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. okay. <laughs> Podcast. Is it off? Hmm? No. No, it's on. No, it's yeah. okay. Is it saved? Are we still live? Hopefully yeah. this charges faster than the battery it uses. We good? Okay, we good. Yay. It's already been an hour. This has been fun. Yeah, love languages. Oh, yeah. I was saying, um... It's weird if you think about it. Like, so if like if you were thinking of a touchy guy, because he's touchy, you would have you would score less on the physical touch thing. But then his way of showing love is probably physical touch. Mm -hmm. But then there's suddenly hey. a like a decrease in your need for it. Oh. That's so strange if you think about it. Is that it. how I work or is that how everyone works? Would you say? No, I think if two people have really high physical touch, mm -hmm. usually they're just like bunnies, <laughs> mm. or like they're 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 like Albert and Annie. They're like cuddle bugs. They just like are cuddling all day. If yeah. you have really high physical touch, but if if it, so bunnies. If, if you think like you're like high in, or if mm. you would be low in physical touch from <clears throat> a guy who has high physical touch. Mm. Oh well, I think it's more like um, I'm the type who. So I'm a Libra. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going okay, real now, deep. now we're going. We're going all sorts of places here today. I represent okay, the moon. You're a Libra. Rising. Okay. Yeah. I'm a Gemini. Blood type O positive. Okay. I'm blood type A. Like we go in there. Sure. Sure. I'm an ENFP. Oh my I'm my birthstone is Aquamarine. Wow. Yeah, my birthstone's an Emerald. My. Oh. my wow. My Enneagram oh, is type 2, wing 1, yeah, oh. like we go in there. Type 3, wing yeah, 2. Yeah, so I'm a Libra, okay? okay Libra. So Libras are like a balance. They're like a scale. They like, they like, they like, they like going in the middle of things, you know? Okay. In the middle of things? Yeah. Okay. I like, like, I like osmosising in my life, okay. you know? So, um. Okay. Osmo or depletion. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. So if I were to date a guy, I don't think I would like it if he was an extreme in, in like any love language. So you need a guy who also wants everything. So you like a normie, yeah. you like you like mellow people. Um No, she likes a guy who has a seven in every love language. Uh, oh no uh, or oh, somebody wow. who can like get to a seven in everything with me. Oh uh, you know that's
that's probably that actually might be another reason why I'm gonna add on <coughs> to the reasons why Sydney's single. Well, she wants because, the perfect guy. <laughs> because <laughs> because I, I feel like it's I feel like I've never met another person who's like well rounded like you like sevens. Really. So I think like if you are morphing because like the guy is a eleven and something. <clears throat> <laughs> Then I feel like you're just repelling every guy out there who has like a higher tier or something and whatever. Because you're like, oh, it's too much, it's too much. And then you're like, no, go away. But like most people are higher tier in like the They have preferences. Because everyone Mm -hmm. has preferences. But you're so but you're so well rounded and you want a balance that oh my god. Oh, interesting. Well, it used to not always be like this. When I had a crush on a guy and I and I would take the test with the guy in mind, then it was very different. Oh, <laughs> if that makes sense. You like mm-hmm. someone physically attractive all of a sudden, physical touch. Yeah. Oh. So the guy, the guy, okay, sorry. the guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> so the guy I had in mind when I took it before mm-hmm. made it so that my highest were physical touch and acts of service. I think. Yeah. Oh. Those were like my highest love languages. And then it was like quality <coughs> time. I always got words of affirmation from like my girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. I'm like zero with physical touch with girlfriends. Mm. I feel so uncomfortable. Mm. But like it's, it's more like my closest friends, I wouldn't want to touch them. Like maybe it's because how I see it is like they deserve so much more mm-hmm. than like touching to me is like not like doesn't mean much. So I'm like. I need to show them like through actions, like through services. Mm. Through... Oh, that makes sense. You like cook yeah. a lot. I like, cook for them, yeah, like, drive them around. <laughs> yeah, drive. Like I want to uh-huh. do every. Yeah, I want to take care yeah, of them. That's true. That's true. You do. Yeah. That and if I do like touch, I feel like it's just a cheap way out. But that's mm-hmm. just me mm-hmm. with zero <laughs> in the touch scale. Interesting. <coughs> Feels cheap, but we all have to. <coughs> mm-hmm. Cool. I actually score zero in physical touch when I think of relationships, like mm. guys. Ooh. Really? I score a zero in physical touch. I scored a two in receiving gifts. Mm-hmm. I think I was like seven quality time, eight acts of service, and then and then an eleven in words of affirmation. Ooh. Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I've taken it. Maybe I should be. We can take it. it right now. It's really fast. Any take fun. it. Take it. I'm using my phone. I'll go to the bathroom while you guys do that. Okay, we're right back. Okay. What is it called? Uh, oh, but on if you guys were wondering, I really like words of affirmation, so you guys can go ahead and compliment me and stuff. <coughs> um, the love languages test. Love language test. Or maybe just a little sure. Learn your love language. What the? Singles quiz or couples quiz? What do I do? Uh, probably the couples quiz. Okay. Love language test. Learn your love language. Wait, it's required and you put it in my email? <coughs> I am taking the singles quiz. I prefer not to say. <laughs> I'm not in the I'm not in the 18 to 24 bracket anymore. Feels bad. Oh damn! Thank God I can still click. <laughs> okay, you're one what like couple days <laughs> off. Okay, you come in with me. Okay, select country. <coughs> in a relationship. What's nope? Do not read that. Heck no. No, no. I would not like any emails. I understand. Okay, we're sorry. <laughs> okay. It's more meaningful to me when I receive a long note, text, email, nope, uh, my partner and I hug, yeah. Um, it is more meaningful to me when I can spend alone time with my partner, just two of us. My partner does something practical to help me out. Nope, I help myself out. Girl, don't need a man. I'm literally <laughs> clicking the opposite of you. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when my partner gives me a little gift as a token of our love. Ooh, I get to spend uninterrupted leisure, yes. More meaningful to me when my partner unexpectedly does something for me, like filling my car or doing my laundry. My partner and I touch. I mean, it is nice if he fills up my my car, but like, 
It is nice if you like hug me. <coughs> I'll do the, the, the car. My partner puts his and her arm around me when we're in public. My partner surprises me with a gift. Uh, I don't really care for PDA that much anymore because I'm in like a three year plus relationship. So gifts are kind of nice. <coughs> I'm around my partner even if we're not doing anything. I hold hands with my partner. I'm around my partner. Uh, it's more meaningful when my partner gives me a gift. I hear I love you from my partner. I think nowadays I'd like to hear I love you because we are so like not talkative. I sit close to my partner. I am complimented by my loved one for no apparent reason. I sit close. Do you have food? Yeah. <gasps> really? Yeah, what would you like to eat? Like food food or like snack food? Like, uh, I don't know, food food, what do you make? I made bong no? Here, let me, let me, let, what I, is that? I got you, I got you, girl. <gasps> Just sit down. Yay! Sit down. Oh wow, I probably got acts of service and physical touch. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you like acts of service? Or um, like giving acts of service? Oh, I think I did the couples test. So I was uh -huh. thinking of Johnny. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we've been in like a three-year relationship. Uh -huh. If it was the beginning of our relationship, then it uh -huh. wouldn't be that case. Uh -huh. But, you know, you get sick of... I mean, <laughs> I'm get, kidding. You get sick of what? No, no, no I was joking. Of, you, you you get more, like, more like the relationship becomes repetitive. Uh -huh, yeah. So then you guys kind of change, shift gears, and oh, now we're in the comfort okay. stage. Okay. Yeah, so of course, nowadays I do prefer... The acts of services yeah. or you know because it means that they're putting in effort yeah like, yeah because we're we were so used to the other stuff before yeah yeah yeah, yeah. a lot of physical touch before yeah, yeah yeah a lot of physical touch oh man oh man so much physical touch. okay okay oh so much physical what okay the imagery that's enough <laughs> <coughs> For me, oh yeah, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something special for me to for me to help me out. I get a gift from I get a gift that someone I love put thought into choosing. That's, I well, okay, so if I get a gift, I find it me really out. meaningful when somebody put thought behind it. If it's just like a gift that like they know I don't care about, I'm like, man, why'd you get this? But like, if it's a gift that like. Shows a lot of oh, thoughts, this was interesting. Then, like, really happy. Someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're talking with each other, or someone I love goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me. Mm. Mm. I think both are pretty important to me, so I'm like yeah. trying to think. Mm. Like, it means a lot to me when the guy doesn't look at his phone when he's like spending time with me. But I would also be very grateful if he knew something was like stressing me out and he yeah. went out of his way to like relieve that pressure. I'm trying to think of what I would do. See, I don't I actually don't know which one I prefer. I think I I prefer them both. I think because I'm in this space, right? We're in this space that's like social so social media heavy and stuff. To the point where it's like kind of for our jobs. I think I've I've chilled out a lot on like the whole phone thing. So like if people are on their phone around me, like I don't really care anymore. Cause like usually it's like I get it. Like we're in this world, <laughs> this social media world, you know. But like if somebody were to do something to relieve pressure on me, um, I think that would mean a lot more to me. Yeah. Both mean a lot to me. I have no idea. I can look forward to a holiday because I'll probably get a gift from someone I love. I hear the words, I appreciate you. Who looks forward to a holiday because they're excited to get a gift from their ex? Who does? Who would pick that? <laughs> someone I love and haven't seen in a while thinks enough of me to give me a little gift. 
Someone I love takes care of something I'm responsible to do, but I feel too stressed. Oh heck yeah, that one. Who would choose oh. a gif over yeah. over being de stressed? Yeah. Like someone <laughs> if if a girl or a guy comes up to you and was like, Hey, here's a gift or I can give you a massage right now, which one would you pick? A massage. Here's a keychain or a massage. Who picks the keychain? Who wants the keychain? Whoever wants the keychain. Wait, what if it's like of my favorite anime waifu. Oh, Hell well, yeah, I'll take the keychain. Oh, well, that means that, like, thought was put into it, though. Oh, yeah, but, true. Yeah, yeah. Then, then, then I could see picking the keychain. <laughs> well, like, I ain't gonna turn down, like, a diamond-encrusted keychain. Oh, <laughs> I'm <laughs> I need a Kimmy princess in mode. Like, I don't think I'm a princess, but, like... <clears throat> I know what I'm gonna get. Oh, wow! It's pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> so I scored a ten in acts of service, a ten in words of affirmation, seven quality time, two receiving gifts, one physical touch. You know, I feel like I went guys, from a zero to a one in physical touch. I feel like guys are best at physical touch and giving gifts and quality time. I feel like it's like kind of the opposite of you. Yes. Which is probably why we're single! Yay! Yay! We found out! <laughs> so Celine wants the exact opposite of what guys normally give, and I want everything. <laughs> <laughs> so single, Basically, we're hopeless! Single, by the way! <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding out so much about us. Why we're single? Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more worried for Kimmy than Celine. <laughs> Listen, okay? Listen, buddy. I am fine. <laughs> Ooh, that smells so good. I would go grab a water really bottle. Good. It smells like peanuts. Here, you can hold chat. Thanks. Thanks for chat. <laughs> Only me and you now, guys. Okay, Kimmy. Ooh, Just mix it up, eat it. Wow! Yay! Wow! <coughs> Yay! Oh my god! Uh, why, can't, why can't I just date taking girls? Out of context, but okay, yeah! Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> it's warm. Yeah. <coughs> what does Lee end up getting? Mmm, the peanut sauce. Yay. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy macaroni. Wow. <laughs> it's really good, right? Yay. Do you try it? Yeah, she ate it for dinner. Yeah, I ate it for dinner. Mm. <laughs> That's so mm. good. Can you feed me a steak? Mm hmm. I'm kind of hot right now. Okay. She's good at eating hot food. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Let me find you one that's like by itself. Let me find you a single one. A single Here one? Here you go. <laughs> Here's a single one. Mmm. Mmm. Aria, this is so good. Can you ask me your hair? Oh my god. <laughs> Yay. I love eating bread. Mm -hmm. If I don't have anyone feed, Ready? oh Ready? my god, I just eat hot Cheetos, Gabby. instant ramen, mm -hmm. microwavable TV dinners. Mm -hmm. But when I have friends to feed, I'm like, oh yeah, hee hee, chop, 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 mm. cook, 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 saute, saute. Yeah, do everything. You're all pee. <laughs> With breakfast. Mm. Are you just cooking? Actually, it tastes like restaurant cooking. Mm, yeah, like actually. Like better though. Yeah, like better. <laughs> it blows my mind. Okay, what's the topic now? Oh, what did you score on your love languages today? <coughs> I didn't finish it because I was making this, but oh. I, I don't think I've changed. I, I, the questions are a bit 
black and white. Yeah. Like, you know what you're going to get based off of what you're choosing, so. True. Yeah. What did you get? So, I'm pretty sure nowadays I'm more... Acts of service? Acts of service. Where, mm, no, sorry. Quality time, number one. Mm-hmm. Quality time and then touch and acts of service are probably tied now. I used to not... I remember in the beginning of every relationship, I'm still probably going to act like this if if Johnny and I were not to work out uh, in my next relationship. I always start off wanting the pants and I want to like take care of them. I want to mom them. I want to do everything for them. Mm. So I would score nothing in acts of service because I want to do it all. Um, yeah. But then it flops or? Yeah, but then it would have to flop because I eventually would get tired of doing it or it's not as rewarding anymore. And then I would like them to see or test them to see if they could do the same for me. And then half the time, if they don't, then I break up with them. But Johnny's been a good boy, so sorry, Jack. Oh, that's good. (laughs) But yeah, it's Mm -hmm. Gucci. All my girlfriends deserve the best guys. Ugly, ugly. And I mean, all my boyfriends deserve the best girls, too. Mm-hmm. And you deserve some love, too, Kimmy! Where, where are we gonna, what are you gonna do? We're gonna go clubbing? We're gonna go... What do, what do you wanna do? Alright, let's Speed go dating? clubbing. Clubbing? Ooh, yeah. Can we make a content, though? Mm-hmm. We have to find a guy that doesn't exist for Kimmy. Well, I mean... <laughs> Not gonna lie, lately I've been binge watching those really scary, like, you know, um, news or like on serial killers or like bad dates that go crazy. And a lot of them pretend to be this perfect person. And then the more perfect they seem, the crazier they were. So I'd rather, I'd rather turn someone to be my perfect guy or like slowly work mm-hmm. towards perfect. Mm-hmm. Perfect right off the bat sounds a little, oof. But you never know, Kimmy. <laughs> it might happen. <laughs> Guys, help. Pookie, pookie. But you know, I'll just, I'll just do what my mom has been telling me to do for the past ten years and go back to church. <laughs> Actually, I mean that doesn't sound half bad. Cause then wouldn't that mean like they're all like-minded people, right? In yeah, a sense. I mean, like you guys have at least one thing in common, and that's the belief in God. That's true. Yeah. Half I mean, meaning, but I mean, if something is important to you, like ideal wise, mm-hmm. I mean, ideals wise, I think it's important to share the same ideals. Wait, that's kind of similar to finding a guy on the rift, is it not? Mm, like, let's yeah. say you really believe in League of Legends, and you're like, "Fuck yeah, this is my life." Like, you go find Legends, someone. Yeah, um, that plays League of Legends or on the on the on the rift, you know. So like, like no meme. This Summoner's real. Rift is church. Yeah, and like <laughs> Riot is ultimate god. You believe oh, in Riot? No. Okay, Chats, this got Chats real weird. Chat Pega, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, Basically, now he's being blasphemous. But <laughs> <laughs> the origins of all e boys and e girls. No, I do understand. I yeah, do yeah. understand the concept <laughs> of like. Uh, Having the same ideals yeah. is really important to people. Like, same values. Yeah, same values. Mm-hmm. Similar human values. So whether that is, like, League of Legends, yeah. or, like, a game, or, or like, soccer, or, or yeah. like, like, basketball, yeah. just, like, or art, or music, if Eek. you share, like, a same core interest, yeah, it, you probably will get along way more than if somebody of, like, complete opposite worlds mm-hmm. were to collide. Yeah, so with Johnny and I, you, you guys think it's League of Legends. No, it's actually Vancouver. Interesting. Because I hadn't visited when um, I met him, and it's been probably like five years at that time when I met Johnny that I hadn't visited Vancouver, but I missed it dearly. So when I met him, a guy from Vancouver, he reminded me of home. So immediately I felt like comfortable mm-hmm. with him, and he gave me a reason mm-hmm. to visit. So when I visited, it felt so right. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's what kept me kind of hooked. Mm. I can see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like we'd never play League together. <laughs> I think that's but, very yeah. similar in, like, many relationships. I feel like mm-hmm. people from the same area, they just mm-hmm. share, like, this, like... Yeah. yeah. When I hear yeah. that someone's from Seattle, I'm like, really? Yeah. You know that one store? You know that yeah. one store? Wait, you know that book shop? Yeah. You know that book shop? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I always go here. Yeah, yes. you know that park? Yeah. That was literally Johnny and I's, like,
like entire yeah. first year. Like Janet and Toast. Oh yeah, yeah. Both from Toronto. Mm-hmm. That's true. Oh, yeah. Being from the same place is pretty cool. It's very helpful. <clears throat> But I can also imagine, like, being from different places and then being, and being like, fascinated. yeah, fascinated. Do you believe in, like, opposites attract? Yes, I do. Mm. Do you I think don't, opposites make good couples? I think opposites, uh, not, like, polar, but, like, opposites with open minds, yes. Okay, let me give you my psychological standpoint take on, on it. standpoint on opposites attract. Okay. okay. I think people tend to have noodles stuck in my throat. <laughs> I think people tend to not like the qualities in others that you don't like in yourself. Ooh. So I think opposites attract if there are parts of yourself you don't necessarily like. I think similar people get along well together if you like love every quality about yourself. Mm-hmm. And then you also find another person with a lot of your similar qualities and you're like, fuck yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like, yes great you know mm-hmm. we can just like, spiral into ourselves <laughs> mm-hmm. um, would you date yourself i think you have to date yourself first before you date someone else happily like right no, no no if i could clone a male version of kimmy oh um, like i meant that literally like i would not date no me. i don't want to date me fuck no, that i'm so competitive <laughs> oh my god i would not want someone that's just as good as cooking just as good <laughs> uh-huh. as like what I do, I would feel um, so God. almost like mm-hmm. suffocated. Mm-hmm. I'd date me. <laughs> I mean, but you're angels. So. <laughs> no, I just, I think I I date me, but I think we just nonstop talk all day, which oh, that's is so cute. A problem. <laughs> no, that's, that's so a cute. problem. You guys are like. You lost in your own yes, like so world true. of just poetic. No, like, like every time I ask someone this, they're like, "I never date myself," and I always, I'm always like, "Damn, I date myself." Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I sound so egocentric. No, 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 no. no, I, no if I anything, just... I think that just means that you're very comfortable in your own skin. Yeah, like, you're very, sh- you're very assertive. Assertive. You like know yourself Arthur. a lot, <laughs> and you like, and you wouldn't mind, you know, like. <gasps> That ain't me though. I don't know who I am. Like, yeah. Like I think you just like I? know I who know. you are already, and you're, you're what's the word? You're like, you hold on to those core values really strongly. Like mm-hmm. you're like I ain't changing, and I'm okay with this. You yeah. know, like, and that's good. True. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. So if anybody thinks they're very similar to me, <laughs> hit her up. You like the word? Oh, no. More on the platonic end, cause it doesn't matter. Yeah, so interesting. Whenever I ask somebody that question, you can imagine it. Male Kimmy. Have you ever met a male Kimmy? Okay, this is what I told them before when Celine asked me this. I said I wouldn't date myself because it, imagine this: you must first love yourself and date yourself before you can open yourself up to another person, right? Mm-hmm. Happily, right? Yeah. If you date another clone of yourself, you're dating four of you now. There's four of you. I can't. Like, one's enough. I have a hard <laughs> time dealing with them? one Kimmy, okay? <laughs> I can't deal with more. There's like two here, two here, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One Kimmy. Two Arias, four Arias. Four Arias. Can you imagine? We'd be very efficient team. <laughs> Dating three more of yourselves? Okay, well. Yeah. Damn, yeah. guy version of Arya. I can somehow imagine. I would serve. Later. I would serve so many girls. I'd be like, hey, serve so many girls. <laughs> like hell yeah. I would be such a ladies' man. Like straight up. Damn. Like come come to my crib and have some cake. Like holy shit. Oh hell yeah. God. Like I would date a baker. I think yeah, guys in guy the baking who can industry cook and pastries, bake hell is yeah. just so That's attractive. So it's like. You know that they're delicate in their hands. Aww. Dude, you know? a guy Arya would actually be such a catch. <laughs> thanks, thanks, mm-hmm. thanks. I tell myself. Dude, she does. <laughs> Not but I'm a you... terrible girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, because I'm so busy doing stuff. I'm so busy in my craft that I don't give them talks. I don't give them like emotional support. I just, mm-hmm. I just put all my love into the product and mm-hmm. give it to them. And if they see it, then they'll love it. But if they look at it and they're like. You didn't answer my text, like, you know, like, three hours ago, and then I'm doomed. Mm-hmm. I lose. <laughs> Beautiful cake or not, I lose. Beautiful cake or not. <laughs> That's just the reality of it. 
But you'd be a great boyfriend. Yeah, I'd be a great boyfriend. Like, a boyfriend goes to, like, Mia for, like, a couple hours, but he shows up with a beautiful cake. I'd oh be like... Oh, my God. I would be like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm sad. I know. I'd be like, I'm so oh sorry. God. I was upset that you weren't texting me for, like... Chat, y'all lucky. You boys in chat, you're lucky I'm a girl. Otherwise... This is steal your woman. What? How to steal your girl? You steal your woman. You are. You you already steal girls, even though you're strong. Yeah, that's true. True. Yeah. Damn, you'd be such a catch as a guy. <laughs> Thanks. More think about it. <laughs> yeah. My dad actually like. Do you guys remember? Or do your parents tell you any story about like their? love life or their kind of upbringing yeah oh, when my mom was younger she's like all the boys love me same I with my mom the most popular the prettiest yeah. like uh, my, I with many, my parents i had so many doctors all over me <laughs> oh <laughs> my your mom swag yeah my my <laughs> parents are the exact same my dad I and mean, he even showed us a photo and he was oh standing in the dead gosh. center and my dad's just like swag yeah Damn. my dad was like a plus looking. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. You know. You know how there's like a saying that goes like, um, the way you remember your past is how you remember it, regardless of how if that happened or not. Does that make sense? So like. Uh, you remember like, things how you want. To. Yeah. You remember uh-huh. things how that's very well said, Celine. <laughs> You're very eloquent. At <laughs> you remember. <laughs> yeah. You remember things how you want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True. So I feel like my mom wanted to remember her past that way. And I'm like, you know, yeah, I go I go away on your parade. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. But I'm like me I I saw her wedding picture, she was really pretty though. Yeah, no. My parents were gorgeous. Yeah. I like Same. damn. You what, what, happened? what happened to me? <laughs> I'm kidding. Same. My mom but, was so pretty. <coughs> was so pretty. My dad was super good looking. Super. Super like Lean, had the longish hair, swept to the side, mm. really fair skin. He was the fairest of them all. <laughs> he was the fairest. Literally. He's Snow White. Wow. No, literally, yeah. He looked like a vampire, have but you, in Vietnam, that was get, like... Get some water have you there. ever asked your mom why she married your dad? Oh my god. The <laughs> story is insane. And I, I hear both versions, and they're completely different. <laughs> Monka, hmm. <laughs> like, it's <laughs> so hilarious. Yeah, you go first. Oh, I just asked, like, I asked, like, why my mom married my dad. Yeah. And my mom said, because he's funny. And that's all she ever oh, says. Wait, that's so cute. Yeah, she's like, he's funny. And I'm like, that's it? And he, she's like, yeah. Like, if you're going to live the rest of your life with someone, you better be someone who can make you laugh. Oh, my God, work. <laughs> that is that's so, so cute. cute. And that is so freaking cute. It's like all my mom ever says. What did your dad say? Oh, my, my dad just thinks my mom's perfect. Like, in every oh. way possible. So she just thinks he's funny, and he thinks she's perfect. This is where I get my extra in I swear to God. Because my parents, they both gave me stories about themselves. So it ain't even like, like, why do you like each other? How did you guys get together? It was more like, he chased me, she chased me. And I'm like, God damn it, I'll never know. And then the way they tell it, too, is full of exaggeration. Okay, my mom was like... I, I went on the bus and it was almost too late and he went on his motorcycle <laughs> and he started racing towards the bus and he looked over while I was on the bus and I'm like, shut the fuck up, that didn't happen. I tell my dad, he's like, that didn't happen. And I was like, mom, what are you talking about? And I'm just, it's like so crazy. And then I asked my dad, he's like, oh yeah, she literally followed me everywhere. Like it was creepy, but like I kind of liked her, but it was like out of comfort, but like she thought I was real good looking. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't getting anywhere with my parents. I'm over it. I'm over it. Both narcissistic, both extra. Yeah. Oh no, look at me. <laughs> I'm kidding. But like, I do get my extraness from them for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> they're really extra people. But yeah. they're both like trying to do the whole K drama thing. And I'm like, no, I ain't, I ain't working with this. I'll never know the truth. Someone chased someone. Uh, hey, your parents sound like a really good example of like uh, similar people attract. Like they like yes. they love themselves so much. They love yes. No, I mean like not the kind of. Like, no, know. it's horrible now because they butt heads a lot. Um, they fight. That's it. They, they fight every yeah. day, but they fight every day because they're both so like headstrong about yeah. certain things. Mm. It's just their way of love. I mean, at the end of the day, they will like go back and be like, "Sorry, okay," like, but it's it's a fiery relationship, uh-huh. cat and mouse, literally mm, for the zodiac. Yeah. What, what signs are they? Do you know? 
What do you mean? Like what, what zodiac sign? Uh, my mom's the cat technically, so like uh-huh. rabbit, oh. and then my dad is the mouse. So they are oh, actually they're literally well, opposite. Oh, yeah, like they're not supposed to be together. Yeah, but. Oh. Cat mouse. My parents are like supposed to be together. Oh. My dad's the rabbit and my mom's the sheep. Oh. And they're like four years apart. That's and so like cute. Zodiac four years apart is like the yeah. magical number. Yeah. yeah, my parents are three, so. My parents are five. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. My parents don't have a fancy meeting story because my dad's younger sister just introduced the both of them. That's what that was oh, like. traditional. Like, yeah, so, yeah. Day. Similar yeah. to me. Uh-huh. My mom's cousin and my dad's cousin. Uh, married mm-hmm. and then they both their cousins were like oh we have a single cousin mm-hmm. and then so um we just threw them together and two weeks later my dad proposed to my mom two weeks yeah two weeks over the phone can, can we yeah is this the route by chance that <laughs> you're kind of Damn. oh man yeah it's been like it's been like 30 years and they're so like all super right time happily, to hit up the cousins super happily married <laughs> it's time to hit up the cousins that are married can we <laughs> They might have some info. Oh it might god. work out, and in two weeks. Da, 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 oh my god, you're right. Da, da, da. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is my destiny. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm like a two week wonder. No, my mom has told me every single day growing up. She's like, this is this is not normal. Do not do what I did. <laughs> do not. Yeah, my mom's like, just don't date a man that likes beer. <laughs> don't date a man that likes. Beer. Yeah, my mom gave the weirdest tips. She's just like. If he likes alcohol, red flag. And I'm just like, <laughs> your mom sounds like she just like wants like the super best for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They all do at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah. yeah. So even if they say like the craziest things, you have to like just filter it to this generation. You're like, yeah. We know di- we know best. We know different. Mm-hmm. But we will take you into consideration. Yes. Thanks, mom. Thanks, pop. Yes, exactly. Tell yes. us your like. What are they like? Or, oh. What do they say about each other? How they met and stuff. Well, they just, why they married each other. Okay, so my mom, so my dad was in the mar- military, <coughs> and so Ooh. that was the only picture he had of himself back then. So my dad lived in Minnesota, my mom lived in Texas, so wow. they basically just mailed oh. pictures to each other before the blind date. Aww. So they could, there was no Facebook or anything, right? Right, right. So <laughs> my dad- Snail mail photos. So my dad's oh military my picture, he was like bald. Like they had to sh- buzz yeah, on yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my mom looked at him and she was horrified. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, eh! <laughs> happened to live in Minnesota too. Mm. So she's like, okay, you know what? I'll go just to see the baby. Just to see my cousin's baby. Just to see my my niece. So she went to Minnesota and she saw niece and she's like, okay, well fine, I'll go on the date too. Because he's like so he, he looks so ugly and stuff. <laughs> and then um but they meet up and my mom said that right when she saw him she's like she's like jaw dropped. She's like He's so handsome. Aww. Yeah. Aww. So like her expectations were really low though. It was like a really bad picture. Aww. Yeah. And then um, and then and then yeah. And then my dad thought she looked hideous because my grandma dressed my mom in like tapestry, in like in like ankle Aww. length like curtain outfit. Yeah. And my dad was like, "What is she wearing?" <laughs> So it went both ways at yeah. one point. Aww. But then they like met up again in like normal clothes and then and then like everything <laughs> yeah, and then it was good. Good. then yeah. Aww. Yeah. And then it was so funny to the point where like my dad proposed to her over the phone two weeks later Aww. after she like moved back to Texas. And Aww, at the yeah. at the engagement party, right? Um, mm-hmm. my mom's mom was like, Are you sure he's showing up? Like, <gasps> is, is this a prank? <laughs> like, that's how that's how quick everything was. Abrupt, yeah. yeah, that's how quick and casual their entire thing was. Like, are you are you sure he's coming to think? Speaking of judging off of photographs, that reminds me of a story. So, the guy I dated before Johnny, he was tall and like some would consider him handsome. He uh, looks kind of mixed race, um, but more so he had like a good strong family background, like his. His dad made good money. He he was working towards making good money. So my par- my, my my mom was pretty much sold. But my mom, one thing above money and stability, is her grandkids. Mm. She loves the idea of me having kids, and she really wants a kid to take care of and to like help raise. 
so when she met Johnny, and jo she considers, like, right off the bat, you know, he's not as tall as the other guy, and he's younger than the other guy, so he's, right away, she's like, nah, like, he ain't it. And she saw the picture of him, and he looked like kind of just Asian, Chinese, and he's like, she's like, nah. Then I showed her a baby photo of Johnny. Aww. Immediately was like, marry him, you're having kids around 25, right? <laughs> and, you know, it's going to be great, I'm, I'm going to be grandma, and I'm Aww. like, mom! <laughs> she probably saw Johnny's baby picture. Yeah, and like, saw the I potential, want, I yeah. I was like, I want a little one I like that! that one. And I was like, mom! <laughs> on my ex look and I'm like mom you are so she's very hot and cold so that's yeah so she was, cute. it was quick to turn her so the that baby photo cute. sold her on Johnny that's yeah. a true story <laughs> that's actually so cute yeah, she's like oh he's gonna make like you guys are gonna make perfect babies Aww. And I'm like <sighs> so guys if you guys ever like yeah. have a mom that's soft for like the the kids just slip them a baby photo, a kid photo. They're gonna melt. Damn, that's that's good advice, actually. No, it is. It is. Yeah. How do your parents her... meet? Oh, just a uh, blind date. Oh, okay. My dad's younger sister just introduced them together, and I guess things worked out. And then, yeah, the only every single time I ask them about their marriage, the only thing I ever hear from my mom is that. He's funny. <laughs> that's and so cute. That's cute. Um, it's like my realistic. dad, my dad just is kind of like. Like, who wouldn't marry her kind of thing? Like, she's just, like, perfect. So, like, that's, like, all I ever hear. They're never, like, elaborate about it. But I don't really ask about details either, so. Ow, my heart! <laughs> that's so cute. That's so cute. You need to find yourself a funny man, then. A what? Yeah, a yeah, funny yeah. man. Find a funny man. Find a man that makes yeah. you laugh. Then it gets lean laughs at, like, everything. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, I don't want fat guys that much, I don't think. That's why you have to find a funny man to make her laugh. Yeah, I do have to find a guy who's yeah. funny. Yeah, all you have to do is be exactly like Celine, but make her laugh, and like, you're in. Just saying. Slide into my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> boyfriend interviews. Oh, yeah, boyfriend send, send, me, send me your application applications. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like all my friends want to screen the guy. Speaking of, like, olden days, like, how they did things without text messaging, like, it's so weird to hear about because... I remember hearing about my aunt and uncle's story, <laughs> and like if I told this story to this day, y'all think that's creepy, cause then how they, cause they didn't have phones, right? Yeah. So, the way my aunt and my uncle met was that he literally just stalked her. She works at a donut shop, so he literally just ate at that donut shop every breakfast until he finally oh. found the courage to like talk to her. I but like that's, well, that's how it, that's pretty cute. Yeah. Really? I'm okay, Mocha it's it. cute because that was back then. Okay, yeah, true. Because he didn't have any true, other options. True, 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 yeah. true, true, fine. I'll give if it that If that was like these this things, is like, now, I would be like... That would be scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so weird if you yeah. think about it. Yeah. How things were back then compared to now. Yeah. Like your options are so much smaller because yeah. you didn't have I that reach. I remember my, I, my uncle, he was like telling me a story. He's like, you kids have it great. If you're late, you just message them that you're going to yeah. be late. set up a date and a time like you, you didn't show up there. then it just felt like you're being stood up yeah yeah so you'd actually leave. yeah yeah so, like being punctual like wow. before like phones was like really important no, but now yeah. now people are like way less oh I'm, I'm running in traffic i'm gonna be late like 10 minutes but like back yeah. then people just had to like wait and now like have, hope wow now hope we have like 360 yeah now we have like live 360 oh kimmy has a left there Let's see exactly how many footsteps she's away from me right now. Yeah, actually. <laughs> we literally have stalker apps down. That's socially acceptable. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, though. But it was easier to lie back then. I remember I'd be like, <laughs> Mom and Dad, I'll be at Cindy's house. No, I went to the mall. Went to, like, oh the city down. Same, same, went to same, drink same, Starbucks. Same, same, like, same. yeah, no. Same. But now they're like, mm, we know where you are. I'm going to make my kids download Life 360. I don't care. I must know where you are at all times. Oh man, I mean it's safer that way. I don't think, like, would I, they mind it? My honestly, sister like, didn't mind it when she was younger. I don't think. I personally won't actually make them. I think trust really? is a very important thing Agreed. in relationships, and I think that it's almost as if like it's like 
forcing your kid to like download something like like basically right off the bat, mm-hmm. it kind of like doesn't even like give them a chance. Dude, like, my sister yeah. wanted it. Like, well, I mean, that's a different story. That, like, yeah. um, well, when we golden lived, children. Yeah. <laughs> when we lived in Korea, like it it, it can get kind of like sketchy, you know, yeah. just like the area. And so my mom has a texting sir or like. <laughs> My mom, it basically texts my mom like every hour where my sister is. Mm-hmm. But my sister wanted that because she was like worried that oh, it would, okay, my okay. mom would be worried and she was worried for herself. Oh, <laughs> and so, like, my sister like totally didn't mind. Mm-hmm. So, I guess, I guess there's like two sides to like mm-hmm. the, the entire idea yeah. of it. Yeah. I can see that. I can totally see that. Now, I don't care at all if my parents tell me I'm like basically. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't I mean, know. we're old enough. I have nothing age. to hide, man. Yeah. Speaking of nothing to hide, our next topic of a good idea. Have your parents ever talked to you guys about the birds and the bees? What are the birds and the bees? Wait, what? Am I saying it wrong? (laughs) What? Birds and bees? Am I saying it wrong? Birds and talk? Oh, sex talk? Oh, sex talk. (laughs) Wait, who says birds and the bees? Am I dumb? Wait, chat, back me up. What the heck? Back me up. It's right? Maybe yeah. Like, where do they, where do people say birds and bees? Wait, like everywhere. <gasps> Why is it birds and bees? Yeah. I, I birds eat bees. <laughs> okay, that that is actually a mind blowing question that I do not have the answer. Aria to. is correct. Aria, it's just overwhelmingly Aria is correct. Wow. I've never heard of that in my life. Aria is not wrong. She's right. She's right. <laughs> wait. Wait, birds. Wait, wait. Somebody they explained both, it. Oh. They said uh, they both start with letter B. Bees pollinate flowers. Oh, so yeah. So isn't it bees and flowers? The bees and the bulbs. <laughs> I don't know. The the bees and the flowers. Wait. Oh, birds and bees pollinate flower. What? What? They are literally. There are literally birds called flowers? nature. Bees. It makes no sense, but Aria's right. Okay, well, that was the term we used, like, growing up, at least, like, with school and stuff, oh, too. I've never heard yeah. that in my life. Wait, are we getting into the sex talk now? Well, I mean, we don't have to get in depth, but more so, like, <laughs> okay, so before our parents. Before we get into the sex talk, have you guys heard about Twitch Prime? <laughs> you went there. Okay. I, I'm... I You captivated me. Okay. <laughs> you are so smart, Kimmers. <laughs> We need to learn from kids. There's a purple button working. up there. Um, go ahead and see if you guys have Twitch Prime available. Actually, if Twitch you do, Prime is a blue uh, button. Say 3D. Thank you so much for subbing with your Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Dude, like, awesome. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Anyone else? <clears throat> I'm not guilt tripping you. Something on Twitch got banned for guilt tripping somebody who subbed to them. <gasps> yeah. Oh like they were like God. legitimately yeah. Wait, guilt tripping. Yeah, but that, actually, like troll. It wasn't trolling. No, they weren't trolling. Okay, that's gross. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Keone, thanks for getting five subs. Pod. <laughs> Keone with the five subs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But I'm not guilt tripping you guys. I'm completely joking. You guys d- don't sub to me. Don't. Don't sub guys. to me. All right. Now she's using yeah. reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. Nope. <laughs> don't sub to me. Nope. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do you do it. You're, I know you want to do it. Don't do it. Don't sub to me. <laughs> so, have your parents ever talked to you guys about it? And if so, how did they do it? Um, nope, my parents never did it. <gasps> really? Nope, never. My parents never talked to me about it until um, I was going to college. Okay. And then when I was going to college, my mom gave me, like, the shortest, like, five-second, like, if anything happens, call us. No matter what, Aww. make sure to use protection. And that was Aww. it. Aww. That was like the sex talk of That's my life. That's how it should be. I that think. was the only sex talk I've ever gotten in my life, and it was when I was going to college. So cute. You serious things to something you just trying to talk to me. <laughs> no, but I think that's how it should be. If I ever have a sex talk with my kids, I'm just going to be like, honestly, like, I don't hold the same expectations of you as, like, myself, you know, but, like, be safe, use protection, call me if anything goes wrong. Yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, now I don't want to tell my story. <laughs> <laughs> well, you well, brought it well, up. Well, they're like, oh, yeah, use protection. Have, kid, have fun. Yeah. They're really awkward no. about it? Uh, okay, so my dad oh pretends my it doesn't exist. 
<laughs> like he literally was just like like look at my dad pretends my boyfriends don't exist yeah, yeah. my dad too my dad was like give them two years and then we can talk like literally but um <clears throat> no my mom was a little bit of a different story i already told this story briefly in my last last dream i literally okay so my mom the very first talk was uh in elementary uh we were given a sex ed you know class and they gave us all a uh, condom to mm-hmm. take home. You know, this oh, is normal. To take home? Yeah, to take in home. elementary? Well, our elementary was different. Like, you guys have middle school, uh-huh. right? So it was like our middle school. Uh-huh. So it was like later end of middle uh-huh. school. Also like sixth grade for you or something. Yeah, seventh grade, mm-hmm. sixth or seventh. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I just remember my mom finding it tucked into my binder. Oh my God. And she immediately oh goes crazy because yeah. seventh grade, like yeah. you're too young. Yeah, like, you're like nowadays, no, nowadays is pretty normal. Oh yeah, fourteen is like average age. Yeah, yeah. fourteen is the a- like it's That's pretty crazy. normal to like go on birth control and everything. Yeah. Seriously, it's insane. Yeah, I, I heard about it, Damn. or at least like yeah. they talk about it now. The yeah. media is crazy. Um, but anyways, so uh, yeah, my mom went ham and cheese on me, and she literally oh is like, oh my god, like. You want to learn? You want to know so badly? Oh like she was literally going ham. Like excitingly, excitedly. No, 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 like like, like bad. She was okay, mad. Yeah, I was she was so I was yeah. so scared, and I was like, okay, I'm never talking to my mom about sex. So that's why, guys, like, it's better to have your kids trust rather than to make them feel afraid. Because after that, hell yeah, I ain't telling her anything. Like mm-hmm. I, even a crush on a boy, I would not tell her because yeah. I I knew her reaction before, and I would just apply it everywhere else. But then. Her reaction changed when I got to college. Mm-hmm. She 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 wanted to become the cool mom randomly. So she was like, hey, 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 you know, you're at that age. And I'm like, that age of what, mom? Oh, no. And she's literally like, you know what I'm talking about. I'm oh, like, no. I'm like, mom, but I don't. And she goes, you know, when I was at your age, I was curious. She used the <laughs> word curious. And I'm like, curious oh, about God. what, mom? Word, and she's word, like, word. she's just like, you know, about... About the boy, and I'm like, <laughs> about the boy, about the boy, about the boy, and I'm about like, boy. mom, mom, please, I really don't want to have this talk with you. I'm oh uncomfortable. I was more of a daddy's girl, so when my mom be like trying to get close to me, I'm like, <laughs> <"Hazard."> <laughs> <laughs> like it was like, no, I couldn't. Uh-huh. But um, yeah, she's like, you know, at your age, I was really curious, and you know, it's okay. Just, just, just if you have a baby, like I'm pro life, just give the baby to me. It's oh my fine. god! I'll take care of them. You can have them back when they like start understanding mommy, daddy. Like it's fine. Oh my like, god! Your parents are so supportive. My mom just wants a kid like oh. right now. Wow. She would not mind if I wow. pop one out. Like she's like, let me take care of one. Yeah, my mom is like that too right Cause now. Cause she's bored. Yeah, my mom like, is so they're, bored. They're over yeah. it. They're over. She's yeah. still grinding at a nail salon. You know, we yeah. have two, they have two nail shops. They're they're wow. over it. Yeah. yeah. So they're really over it. Then my dad, he will always like literally peep silence until like I look at him and he just like, don't listen to your mom, but also don't abort. <laughs> so like, I, I, I get it. Like they're, they're supportive, uh-huh. but it was so freaking weird. Uh-huh. You curious? Like, but <laughs> what do you mean? Like they can't even say it. Yeah. They can't say no, sex. Yeah. My mom's just as 12 as I am, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The older I get, the more I'm starting to realize, I like I'm very similar to my mom. Aww, yeah, my dad. I feel the same. I feel yeah. the same, right? Like every day I see certain qualities of yeah. like yeah. mix of a good mix yeah. of both. Yeah. Sometimes, just the bad ones, but like it's okay. <laughs> like no, yeah, so yeah bad even the too. bad ones. It's like yeah. the bad qualities that you see mm-hmm. in your parents, and you're like, I'm never gonna be like you in a bullet. You grow you up, and you're like, God yeah, damn it, damn it, I'm just like them. You got me. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm actually like them. Yeah. So yeah. scary. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I won't make as great mistakes, hopefully, but yeah, I definitely see yeah a good mix of both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> yeah. Damn. <clears throat> Similar to your mom and dad, it's almost like they made you with their like jeans. What? Hey, Whoa. listen, I don't like your sass. Wait, you mean <laughs> like they gave birth to us and shit? That can you? That's a thing. Can you believe that every single one of us? We're in, like, yes, our mom's uterus. Our mom's like uterus. We got pushed out. Isn't that Slice crazy? Open. Like, think about it. Every single one of us, we're in it. We're like in our st- a stomach. That's crazy. Society. <laughs> Big wow. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I think I, I, no. Wait, 
so your parents I mean yeah your parents are both like both your parents are like supportive with the idea of like having a child I mean only under like the correct circumstances though Oh, not, like, yeah, like, not just like uh, a random. No, my 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 mom is like, I don't care. I think her mom is like, I <laughs> don't my care. mom is literally, oh I do not God. care. If you hate, like, she she even said like, if he looks nothing like, or more so, oh, sorry, if you're not happy with the husband, or if you guys don't work out, that's fine. I just want the kid. Just and she and she's always like, remember, he's he will always have your blood. He'll always be your family, regardless of like. Aww. Not having the yeah. father figure there, yeah. so that's why she's like, yeah, all arms. Oh, wow! Oh. Oh. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Dark talk, dark, dark talk. Thank you for the twenty gifted subs. Oh, oh, yeah. Thank you for supporting oh, the community. Thank you. Welcome to the community, guys. Thank you. Thank you for enjoying the podcast. Dude, yeah. I was thinking, my parents cannot even think. They, like, they've never even, like, wondered about me and a child. Aww. And they've literally never even thought about me what? and a child. Because they haven't even think... They don't even think it's realistic that I'm getting, a like, a... A boyfriend. A boyfriend. Oh so my. I'm not even, like, it. <laughs> <laughs> like, for the marriage, not in their yeah. mind. Kid, wow. not in their mind. Wow. Boyfriend, when, question mark. I have, wow. I have hippie parents. Yeah. They're not about education. They're about, like... They're all about like the soul, the golden heart rule. Yeah. So they're just like, you know, you don't even need to finish college. Well, I would push my kid to finish yeah, college. Yeah. Like now I know. But it it is kind of a, a like a stress relief too uh-huh. to know that they're so easygoing. Uh-huh. So yeah, the whole kid idea, the whole boyfriend mm-hmm. idea, they're like, just be a good person and mm-hmm. we'll help you. Aww, like so, that's so nice. it's wholesome. But I do yeah. wish I, I was I did have that drive or that force because yeah. I think finishing college too. Because we, we're streamers. We know mm-hmm. the stress, like, being a full-time streamer. Like, will it work? Will it mm-hmm. not? Where is it going to go in the future? But at least that piece of paper kind of makes me feel like you have a safety net. It doesn't make me feel better. Really? Yeah. Fuck, because it makes me feel horrible. Oh. I mean, I have my two-year. <laughs> I have my associate's degree, but, like, I don't um, have my four-year. And it makes um, me feel a little monka sometimes. But it, it, I don't know. Like, if anything, if streaming doesn't work out for me, I just am like, well, when I do get a master's degree... Do I go back to college? Like, sure, I have a bachelor's, but uh-huh. do I see myself pursuing anything in health? No. Like, mm-hmm. what? Like now, for me, I'm like, I kind of would pursue further, further education or something. I guess. Well, yeah. hopefully, streaming works out. <laughs> yeah, I would probably go back to school for sure. Oh, oh! Somebody said sex talk is over already. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Five right. more gifted subs. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, well, you have their attention, Kimmy. What's your favorite? No, 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 I can't. T-shirt to wear when oh. like you're going on a nice romantic dinner date. <clears throat> have you ever worn lingerie? We're answering truthfully, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to see my collection? <laughs> yeah, I have like. Oh my god, this is weird. <laughs> I can't. Oh. You know, See, if my audience can, can y'all pretend to be girls right now? Like, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What's, a, what's a girly emo? Uh, yeah, yo, can, can y'all be real girly? Ohio, please. Ohio and hey, like, and, and, hey, and hey guys. Yeah, yeah, look at all the girls in my chat. See, look, yeah, where are they? I need girls yeah, represent. Yeah, yes. Yes, queen. 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 Yes, que
like sexy in. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think it's really important. Yeah. And not to everyone, because you know we all have our different ways mm-hmm. of like feeling confident, feeling sexy. Mm-hmm. But definitely like just stuff to wear in the bedroom was one of them. Uh-huh. Um, if because I like to sleep naked. I know that's kind of weird, but if I ever wanted a little bit like a pick me pick me up, I would mm-hmm. sleep in my lingerie like just by myself. Mm-hmm. And well, thank you for the six gifted subs. Pop. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. But yeah, yes, queen. Laundry is fun. It doesn't have to be just for men. Like I it, have, it was for me. I have never worn laundry. Me neither. <laughs> like I, I have, what? Like I have Victoria's Secret like underwear, like bra and underwear. That's not like, lingerie. That's just bra underwear. underwear. Right? No, I've never, like, I've never owned like lingerie. Yep, I've never yeah. owned lingerie. Yeah, laundry is like clothing specifically meant to like. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab my thing. But I'm not gonna show stream. Oh, yeah, I'm can, only gonna show, like, show you guys. Us, like, yeah, like it doesn't you. have to be raunchy. <laughs> it doesn't have to be <laughs> Dude, we did Secret Santa and I got Jamie's Secret Santa and it was a bondage set. I have never seen anything like it. Like, and when you <gasps> tore it open, it was like. Oh my god. My like, eyes popped out of my sockets. See, I saw you guys. Ooh, she has a whole box of stuff. Yeah. But oh, damn, you keep it in the box. Yeah. But, you know, you could start off with something oh, like that's this. that's so okay, no, cute. Okay, that's cute. Yeah, and that's cute. considered laundry. You can show no, yeah, yeah, yeah. that. I'm, that's I'm, not, that's, that's, that's like okay. a little dress. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that, I don't have anything. <laughs> I, I'm not, not like. okay to show a dress. Yeah, no, this is fine. Are you sure? Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't feel, this is kind of like a tank top, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, this is, this, I don't know what else is in your box. but Okay, this, I'm going to cover. specifically is fine. I'm going to cover. Like, I would wear that right now. <laughs> I mean, like, with... Like, How many donations? You know, like, How many? No, no, with, like, clothes on underneath. With, like, leggings okay. and, like, maybe, like, you know, like but, a tank top underneath. So, imagine... <clears throat> this is just, like, a tank top, right? It's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, imagine... No, this, this is out. called... Like, this is so cute. A baby doll. Oh. Mm-hmm. And I highly cute. recommend them because they're, like, the entry. Wow. Okay, okay, well. But then I have other colors <laughs> for <the> baby dolls. <laughs> Wow, this is like a, wow. a tease. Oh, this was my very first one. I'll never forget. Oh, this child, look at you. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! confident yeah. and like really mm-hmm. yeah because like a lot of times we cover up because we're just like either insecure or we're uh-huh. just like oh we're not the types to like want to show uh-huh. but when yeah. you're in your room and the door is yeah. closed like you don't have to worry about the public you know looking in on you so it's just it's like it's like me time mm-hmm. that's how I see it oh yeah. yeah 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 try it out yeah I mean like I wonder what my style would be. How do you find your style? You just like try it on. You just try it on. You, yeah. try, on. you try, try it on and then you're like, just like, oh, I look kind of cute. And Whoa. then all of a sudden you're like, yay, I'm going to do this. And then, and then like, that's the stuff you wear when you're like face masking mm. or like having a oh. hair mask. Like, it's literally like just a feel good just yeah. for yourself. Yeah. And then yeah, body like, acceptance, yeah. you know. So when I was younger, mm-hmm. so I used to wear things exactly like that, but oh. like satin. So it's like yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Like, it was that. So I didn't even know that was lingerie. Yeah, no, no, it's it's all a part of it. Yeah, slips. It's, it's like yeah. the exact. Yeah, slips. Those, Those are called slips. Yeah, the yeah. exact same style, yeah. except it was like satiny, like yeah. silky, mm-hmm. and like I just wore it when I was like really young, and like yeah. Aww. No one really said anything about it. Yeah, just wore them. Yeah, love them. Yeah, yeah. So lingerie shopping stream. Yeah. Okay. Then <laughs> not stream, but uh. <laughs> But I, I, I've gone before with Hannah because then she was like, I want to be more confident. I'm like, girl, we're going. And she was like, at first she was like, oh, I don't know. But, you know, she ended up really liking it. <laughs> yeah, it's I fun. can see that. I want to go. That sounds like fun. Uh, are we streaming? No, no, no. Chat's too young. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. Yes, queen. <laughs> and then right when we go, yeah. Do it, queen. Stream it, sister. <laughs> You guys are too good. Like, oh I honestly, I would be fooled looking at this chat. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'd be like, male dominant chat? No. Oh my god. No, our audience is 90% female. Yeah, actually. Oh, dude, love it. Thanks, sister. Yay. <laughs> Pillow fight. Pillow fight. Pillow fight. Let's <laughs> paint our nails. <laughs> Whose hair am I braiding? Oh my god. Actually. 90% <laughs> queens. Hey. <laughs> You guys, okay, the guys who, like, don't know what's going on in chat right now, you guys are learning a lot. I feel like the people who, like, are saying this stuff have sisters, like, the, like right? <laughs> or they're in tune with, like, yeah. social media, and they kind of get the trend of how yeah. they talk to each other. Yeah, but for sure. Actually, speaking of guys You guys, sisters, none of you, everyone who's saying slay queen and everything, none <laughs> of you guys have fragile masculinity. You guys are all, like, masculine AF. Wait, yeah, what? Really? Yeah, because I feel like... People who have like fragile masculinity are like afraid to like show like a feminine side of themselves. That's true. I yeah, do like true. men more yeah. like this. No, I think like yeah. guys who can say things of feminine context or be in their shoes, dude, it makes me feel like you guys are masculine AF. Like actually though. I've always found guys more attractive and the guys had sisters in their lives. <laughs> yes, because they know yeah. how to interact around they know. women. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, and then when I see like a brute guy with no sisters, they're probably like period blood, ugh. like you know. <laughs> oh my god, guys, who freak out about periods are just. Oh my god, <laughs> I, I'm just like, wait, back then I kind of, I kind of understood, but nowadays yeah, no, I'm, I'm like, okay. No, I'd understand if a 16 year old. <coughs> I'd understand if like a 13, 16 year old guy yeah. like freaked out about period yeah. blood. But when you're like older than 21, yeah, and you're like, like freaking out about concerning. period blood, you're like. All that tells me is that you're very inexperienced with girls. Or I hope guys you're who freak out about guys who freak about girls without makeup on, guys who freak out about oh, girls yeah. on their period. Like uh -huh. all of that just tells me you have no interaction with yeah. females as friends, even like even as friends. Could you imagine all that like? Tells me. Oh no! What if I wake up and she's next to me without makeup? I'm like, bruh, she ain't gonna wear that stuff to bed. If you cared about her, preach. you would not want her preach. to do that. Yeah, preach. preach oh sister. my god. Yeah. Hashtag relatable chat. <laughs> True. True. I had a full conversation with pe pe about periods and birth control. Yeah, it's so normal. It's like, why do people freak out? Well, I understand if people are somebody's like what if you're scared of blood in general then I feel yeah like, that that's yeah, understandable but that's different you know but when you're like you know. in denial of like the na natural process of life i'm just like bruh <laughs> you have a lot to go through yeah. or a lot to accept before you go into a situation yeah we're all homo sapiens like, mm -hmm. yes. natural way of life <clears throat> mother nature it's so strange before i twitch um and all this stuff um going like college everyone was so open about like kind of everything talking about period guys talking about periods makeup no makeup guys wearing makeup like we're all very open about it, like mm -hmm. everything <clears throat> i used to say this a lot but going on twitch almost felt like a step backwards Not i think it's because it was like open to like the younger audience yeah. meanwhile we were always we grew up together around like the yeah. people we were with so that makes sense that's true yeah. the reach is i think greater. it's gotten a lot better in, yeah. Like, in the sense that, like, we form like a community of very understanding yeah. people, actually. And I think too, like, the people on the top, like, the message they give. It, yeah. We're, we, I don't think I have, or we in, in general have mm -hmm. anyone that's like doing bad, you know, mm -hmm. or like yeah. spreading harm. Oh yeah, we definitely want to support somebody. But, like, yeah, I yeah. think most of the people, luckily, on the top that's spreading like the most, they're they have good messages. Yeah, they're like. Like don't yeah. bully, you know. For example, like no bully. For example, like that that meme in general. Yeah. Like, no even meme. though it's a it's a meme, you know, it's sending out a positive message. Mm -hmm. True. So. Yeah. True. True. And I think by yeah. now, oh, like somebody said, longest mm -hmm. time I've spent watching a stream. Oh. Uh, more deeper sex talk. <laughs> okay. You know, me. me Twelve, a, by the way. <laughs> we need a podcast all just for sex talk. Yeah, that would be, that would be too lit. We can, we can, we can talk about it before. I feel like 
if there's ever gonna be like an actual podcast about sex talk, you need both boys and girls in the room. Yeah. Okay. And you guys need to like talk about it like together. <clears throat> uh huh. That would not be um. Uh, I don't friendly. Think, yeah, I don't think that's that like would not as be friendly sponsor or friendly. <laughs> I think we need some alternate accounts here. <laughs> yeah, that would and be some maybe like, like a wig and our names are uh, yeah, like wig, glasses, mask. <laughs> yeah. We're here to talk. I'm sorry to my sponsors, I, my future I, sponsors, uh, aliases. Like I think there is a way where we can talk about it in a sponsor friendly way. I think it, we would have to use like proper terminology yeah. and not we, be lewd and yeah, be like more speak. hashtag education. Yeah, we can like, be, we can, we can, we can educate. <gasps> yeah. Wow! Oh, long more! Oh. Thanks for the five gift subs, Pug! Pug, Pug, you. Thank you. We, we want can... Fed. Oh, Honestly. Yeah. Wait, why, why, why is Fed the first? Wait, come on. <laughs> why is Fed the first? <laughs> because he's the most scandalous. <laughs> 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 he's going to tell us all this about girl A B C D E F G like and I'm just like yeah like, yeah and chat's living they're but like honestly, hell yeah no, I think I think Fed like actually would actually would bring like good insight yeah because he's so experienced yeah yeah say Fed's experience are you I'm twelve uh, I'm twelve Sunglasses and masks yeah. and a hat yeah. Yeah. and like voice changer, voice changers. Yeah. I mean, if, if we had all of that, I feel like we could talk about anything. Yeah. I mean, I believe in abstinence. My body's a temple, like I said earlier. <laughs> Should I sponsor me, Queen Shreyas, Life? Yes, thank oh. you for the five gifted subs. Pug, thanks, Thank you. Pug is. Pug is. Who got a sub? Hi, Hune! Hello, Hune! Hello! <clears throat> so many gifted shrubs. Alright, um, well, I don't want to drag this on for too long because I don't want us to all get dead. How long have we been streaming for? That was pretty good talk. We did quite it's a bit. It's been two hours, 16 yeah, minutes. That's, that's really good. That's Would good. you guys want me to like upload this on somewhere? Maybe like a Twitch bot or something? I mean, like, you know how you can like upload a Maybe like on a YouTube channel or something. I mean, it's either that or all the 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 the, the vod or clip oh, stealers true. do it first. That's so true. maybe yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, <clears throat> um, I guess that concludes our middle stream, our podcast. Honestly, we talked a lot more than yeah. like I thought we were going to. We have a pretty good dynamic, yeah. Yeah. and we're also not all the same. Yeah, like we literally are good yeah. mix of different personalities. I agree. So it, and we're it's pretty nice. open people, and we've known each other for so long. Yeah, yeah we're like, not. Yeah, yeah, we're open minded. We're not gonna be like you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like no, we're not yeah. like that. We just if we don't agree with something, we just crack up. <laughs> we're just like la mau. We just start laughing. We're like ha, idiot. Wait, no, that's just you. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty wholesome about this shit. Pug ears! Oh, wow. Booty monster, thanks for the five gifted subs, Pug! Thank, thank you. you! Hell yeah. Kimmy is 12, Selena is 16, and Aria is 22. <laughs> that's that's Two, pretty good. 22. Oh my god, you know, somebody on Twitter today said that my head looks like a Roblox character. Cause like it's like square, and now looking at the screen, I'm like, wow. No, it's head angled head. like that. Kimmy, you're not gonna walk around like this. Look, I have a Roblox. I'm a Roblox. <laughs> I have a Roblox head. No, stop. Uh, Everyone, I want like a, a slay queen, Kimmy, please in the chat. I have a Roblox. No, head. Kimmy, you slay queen, sister, <laughs> preach. <laughs> no. no stop. What is a Ro what is a Roblox character? <laughs> no, oh god. Honestly, no, no, don't look it up. It no don't, don't feed into this. Roblox. Do I type character? <laughs> Wait, no no no, that's not what <laughs> that's what you don't look like. No no that's not what the you're here. Wait, what they they don't even have square faces. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on here. Roblox. Okay. Wait. Wait, I thought they had square faces. I think somebody mistook Roblox from Minecraft because 
These face are fine. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a face, Kimmy. Yeah. Like but you know, <laughs> you know who you look like? You look like Kimmy. Aww, that's, that's how it should be. You're you know. freaking beautiful. They just look like weird Legos. Okay, Kimmy. I mean, Celine. That's enough. <laughs> she does oh, not look I, like a weird Lego. Lego. You don't look like this. 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 You don't look like this.